Hey, and hello there, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, lovely to see you. Oh, hang on. Uh, there we go. That's what I was meant to do. I was meant to have it on that screen. Um, how are you all doing today? Lovely to see you all. Sorry for starting just a minute or two late there. Just uh, had a bunch of hang on, stuff happen uh, beforehand, and I, I, thought I, I thought the stream stuff wasn't working. But I think basically the TLDR is that if you like plug everything in and the Wii U like isn't turned on at the right time or something like oh if it's already on or if you turn it on afterwards it sometimes may or may not work but basically turning the Wii U off and on again seemed to do the trick. I don't know why that fixed it. I don't know why it just didn't work before like I had it on and everything was plugged in so why turning it on and off again kicked stuff in I, I don't really know but anyway um hey and hello there everyone welcome 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 and if it's your birthday happy birthday let's say hi to people um so we've got Xander, hi it would phantom slayer hi how's it going going pretty good i got xenoblade chronicles 2 this week which i'm sure i'll talk about i'm only a few hours in so no spoilers we have a no spoilers rule just in general here at bovio games but just reminding you even if i'm talking about something that isn't to do with the game we're playing just be careful of spoilers and stuff and particularly if it's about a game that i'm currently playing i am trusting you guys to not spoil it for me um so um but anyway so thank you for the question um kevin hi lexi hi teresa hi cappy draw hi um and then um do, 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 do. uh who else we got satella hi and it looks like there's a lot of other miss wannikins hello lovely to see you um oh thank you um uh, i well i've missed seeing you um let's see and then there's a lot of chat between cappy draw it would and lexi Lexi, the Lexi here as well. So forgive me if there's anyone uh, mixed into all that chat as well. Um, but I think that's I think that's like everyone who who has at least been said hi in the chat so far. So hi to everyone in the chat. And Charlie, hello. Um, oh, enjoy. I hope you have fun. Um, and yes, uh, if you enjoy this content and stuff like that, uh, please like and subscribe and ring the bell and all that lovely stuff. Because we had a lot of likes and stuff last week, but um, obviously we haven't even begun playing the game yet. So, you know, but if you if you, if you you know you're going to enjoy this video, click that like button right now. Um, and if you're like, hey, you haven't even started playing the game yet, then let's remedy that. Let's play some more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD on Wii U. Um, <laughs> so here we go. Um... So, um, yes, 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 yes. Um, so, but yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. I, I am going to try and say like, like the video more just cause it does help and it does all, um, we, we get like new people all the time and you know, just get helping that algorithm along it all, it all helps. Um, and during that Super Mario Sunshine one where I li I kind of joked about it every like five minutes, that, that video did actually get a load of likes. So I'm going to try and make sure that um i do actually um i do actually do that so did i say last week forgive me if i, I said this last week but just just there it had the option of like gamepad wii uh wii u pro controller i never got a wii u pro controller back for my wii u in england um and obviously this is like an outdated console cons uh, console now so i'm not going to buy one for like this american one that i have but um but um I think I did say this last week, but one time I was in the 99 cent store and they had like an off brand. It was like, it, I, I can't remember, if it, it was like a pro controller or like a classic controller type thing. I can't, I feel like it was like for you, for like Wii and Wii U. So it might've been like a classic controller, but, there, but I just remember seeing like some off brand like Nintendo controller thing and it was like $5. And if, if I ever saw like an off brand Wii U pro controller for like $5, I would consider getting it just cause like it's $5. Like, uh, you know, you might as well see what you can get. But, um, okay. But anyway, let's get into, um, let's get into more Legends of the Wind Waker. So last time we did our first dungeon, we, we uh, completed, we got up to and completed Dragon Roost Island. Uh, so here we are on Dragon Roost Island. Um, oh, I gotta get used to these controllers again after like playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on the Wii U for a couple of days. Um, okay, so hey, little crab friend. Okay, so we're gonna get in our boat and we're gonna go. And I believe we set the direction of the wind let me just check my map on the gamepad. You guys can cannot see the map. Um, but um, 
But yeah, so we have set the... Oh, whoops. Uh, we set the wind to the south, and now we're going to set sail southwards. Um, so yeah, so let's get into um, life and how things are going and uh, all that. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is... Okay, so this is what I was looking for last week. I was like, guys, can you see like a splish? Um, a splish or anything? But I guess it's until you, it's only after you beat this island. So, hi! Hold it there, small fry! How do I... Ooh, what voice do I do for this guy? Hi! Hi! I forgot what he sounds like. Hi! Crud, I forgot I have to do voices. Ah! <laughs> what kind of voice actor am I? Um, Hanayo Sora! Hi! Lovely to see you. Um, okay. Um, so, hang on, let me see. Uh, so, hey, small fry! I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there, but it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic! In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Okay, because he used the word diapers, American definitely works better. Uh, in the UK, we call them nappies. Um, just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island, so open up your sea chart and make it snappy. I sound like Lois from the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, <laughs> and I did, I know I did a voice, thing is, I know I did like a Lewis-esque voice last week, but I can't remember who it was. So, <laughs> oh well, forgive me if every character's voice sounds the same. Uh, right, okay. There's a real peculiar cave toward the back side of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, Small Fry. Unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, Small Fry. But I will do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water, which is what I was saying last week, when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread it bait out on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. This is highly expositional. This isn't real text that anyone would actually say out loud. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. <laughs> see, you're definitely going... Oh, just... Yeah, you need a well-drawn chart. I'm sorry, I'm just, I, I just. Right. Hoy, you there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it, I've repaid my debt. I'm done, you take care of the rest. Okay, so he seems to have some kind of prior relationship with the king, good for them. Okay, um, so let's sail for real. Um, all oh, right, ZR is jump. Yeah, I gotta get used to these controls. But yes, uh, no. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Had a nice chill week or whatever. Um, and then, actually, no, no, that's a lie. I had a very busy, big thing on Tuesday. So I'm forgetting my week. Sorry. First, first two days of the week were kind of crazy, and then, oh, hang on. Oh, this is the Fire Island. Ah, hang on. We wanna. Okay, we wanna look out for a fish. Oh, okay, he's on the other side of the island. Do you see there, like on the right hand side? Um. So hold on a minute. Actually, hang on. Can I just pause? I'm just going to pause so I can get some bait going on my Y button. Just because we, we've got this like volcano-y island. Hang on. So we're going to just put our sail away. We're just going to coast for a sec. Hang on a minute. That's the button we want. Right, Y. There we go. Yeah, you gotta target him, throw down some bait, and then he's like, hey, smart fry! They all sound the same, they're all the same. Yeah, yeah, I've heard the chart and information, open up your seat chart, <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, so, um, there we go. So, you yeah, know, I had a real, I had like a big important busy thing Tuesday, I'll tell you guys about that another time when it's all appropriate and relevant and stuff. But it kind of closed out a big chapter of my life and blah blah blah, and again, I'll talk about it more when I can. Um, but yeah, so first two days were kind of like building up to that, and then the rest of the week has been pretty chill. Um, and because, yeah, and because I sort of like finished all this big important stuff like on Tuesday, uh, I got Xenoblade Chronicles 2, because I've sort of talked about it before. It's a very rare game and like weird to find. 
Um, and actually, funnily enough, the copy I've got, hang on, let me just check this. The box art all looks the same and stuff, and it's got the, like, T for teen adolescent rating in the corner, and it's got, like, English and Spanish written on the back. But then at the very bottom, it says a UAE, Saudi Arabia, Malaysia, Singapore official product. Um, so I guess that... I guess that maybe in those regions, they have, like, Region 1 America um, type Nintendo games. Um, but I really tried to look through, like, the Amazon listing to be like, is this definitely Xenoblade Chronicles 2? And is it definitely all going to work okay and stuff and stuff on my Switch? Um, and because uh, the Switch is, like, it, it, it isn't region locked, but it's it still could potentially affect things like getting DLC and stuff. And it's like, I want just i want the right physical copy and one of the amazon listings had like a european one like i could tell from the uh from like their age rating thing in the corner like the uk in the uk you have like a different age rating system to the american games um and um and yeah like so it just i, I was like okay well that says t for teen it looks american i looked at the back and it like it has like american and or, like, english and spanish on it but the box feels different to open physically. And then when I opened it up, there's like a slip of paper inside and it's like for customer service information. And then it's got like Singapore, yeah, United Arab Emirates, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia. And I was like, oh, I hope this works, but it seems to be working so far. So, um, but there we go. Oh, oh, hang on, he, hang on. He's giving me advice and I just skip past it. Um, Okay, the thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. If you, if you want to get inside, you ought to go to find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. Okay, one north, four west. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look, for I... And that's all the info I got to offer. You shouldn't have been talking about Xenoblade 2. You should have been listening to me. Bye! <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, my fishy friend. So let me just check the map. So it's one north, four west. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's one southwest of the Forsaken Fortress. That's interesting to know. Okay, uh, let's set sail and head southwards once again. Um, okay, so, um, oh, hi, Christine. Lovely to see you. Um, sorry, I haven't checked chat for a minute, have I, either? Um, oh, hang on, look, there's a piece of treasure. Hang on. So hang on. Hopefully I just did this right. Hopefully I just did. Hey, we got it. Okay, nice. Um, but yeah, we got treasure. Nice. So that is how you get treasure. If you notice, there's a little ring of light, and we went right up to the light, and uh, and yeah. Um, yeah, we got fi oh 50 rupees. Very nice. Um, how far have I gotten? So I've played. Uh, I've had it for a few days. I've played uh, it's something like seven or so hours or something. I just began like chapter three. Um, so I just got to, like, Uncle Pond's house. Um, I won't say too much to spoil things, uh, myself, but, um, but, um, oh, and there's, like, thunderstorms. Thunderstorms and lightning, very, very frightening. Um, so we also got told last time by the, uh, little hurricane, by Tornadus or Thunderous, um, we got told by Tornadus that, like, oh, Thunderous, you gotta be careful of Thunderous, okay? Um, if we do see Thunder, if we do see Thunderous or Tornadus or whichever one we haven't seen, um, we have to... Oh, you can use the crane with the right on the D-pad? Oh, so I don't even need to have... I don't even need to have the grappling hook on X for that? Oh, that's pretty nifty. Um, that's a good addition to the game. That is a good addition. Um, anyway, Bark. Um, so, um... But yeah, so, uh, the treasure and Xenoblade 2, Tornadus. Yeah, so if we see Tornadus, we will have to avoid him, but we can confront him later on. But it's just, right now, we're not in a position. So if we see hurricanes and tornadoes like that, we do just have to avoid them um, for now. Oh, no, we're too slow. I went the wrong direction. Um, hang on, which way are we going? Okay, south. South, 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 south. I just need to go. I know I'm not directly lined up with my arrow, but it's just because I sort of drifted a bit to the side, so I just need to, like, straighten out a bit. Um, but, yeah. So, no, Xenoblade 2. Um, so, yeah, so I'm sort of beginning a Chapter 3 at Uncle Pond's house. I do have a full party of three now, which is really, really nice. Um, and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to enjoy it compared to the others. And it's a really funny thing as well, right? So, Xenoblade is a game where... Um, 
like Xenoblade has a lot going on. Like if you're watching the gameplay and you're looking at like the user interface and all the different like you know things going on on the screen, there's like a lot to follow. And if you're like really tuned into Xenoblade and you know the game and are, are like if you're like playing a Xenoblade game right now, it'll all make sense to you. It will be good. Um, however, um, hang on, I want to get this. I'm gonna try this one with a D-pad, okay? Hang on a sec. Let's try it with the... Oh, hang on. Right, salvage. There we go. Nice! That is a great addition. See, in the GameCube one, you had to have your grappling hook. I think you had to have your grappling hook equipped. Maybe you didn't. Actually, maybe they had it... No, maybe they did have that on a button, actually. Maybe they did have it on a button. Um, so... Okay. Um, purple rubies. No worries if you have to just leave this on in the background or whatever. No problemo. Um... Hang on, I'm just gonna see what's over here. There's a little, little island over here. So let's see what's going on over here. Uh, well, no, this isn't an island, but there's like a little submarine thingy. And I wanna see what's here on this submarine thingy. Right, stop, get out. Swim, 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 swim. Okay, nice. Um, ooh, mysterious. Xenoblade 3 is one year... I know, that's like, that's why I was like, I have to play 2. Because I really want to play 3. I think 3 is probably going to be... It, like, basically, it wouldn't surprise me if 3 ends up being the one I like the most. But I'm like, I don't want to play it without playing 2 first. I don't want to play 2 after. Because the thing is, I think if I play 3 first as well, it will mean I like I would enjoy 2 less. Because I'd be like, oh, this, like, this is lacking this control, and this control, and this control. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, oh, this is dated, and I, I like, wouldn't enjoy it as much. Whereas if I play, like, so what I was going to say, just quickly, is Xenoblade has so much going on, right? And, um, but I'm like, it has so much going on, and also, like, I'm just, but, like, and the thing is, you'd be like, oh, but you've played Xenoblade games before, so you'll be fine, right? And it's like, well, the thing is, is that I, I think I played Xenoblade 1 on the 3DS in 2015, I want to say, and then I got Xenoblade X, or Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, ow, ow, mouse, 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 that was very rude, um, so I'm pressing A on this chest, like, I'm, there we go. So I'm standing in front of it and pressing A. There we go. Oh! Empty bottle! Look at that! That is like, that is a way too important item to just be on like a very tiny... Oh, I forgot to grapple enemies, didn't I? Oh well. Oh well. Um... But, um... But yeah, so I played Xenoblade 1 in 2015, and then Xenoblade Chronicles X, I started, I got that for Christmas 2015. So basically, I essentially played it, like, throughout, like, the first three months of 2016. Can we get over there? I assume we can't, and I, hopefully there's nothing over there. Right, let's go. We got our bottle. Let's go. Um, so, um, here we go. Let's set sail. Oh, hang on. We need to go this way. Nice. Um, we're not gonna, like, check out every little stop there is. Like, these little, uh, things here. I don't think these ever have anything at them, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, so Xenoblade Chronicles X, uh, that I pl I sort of played throughout, sort of, 20, early 2016. So, I haven't played a Xenoblade game for over seven years, which is, to quote my friend Ryan Bartley, wild. Um, nay ain't, nay ain't okay, lovely to see you, hello. Um, oh, hang on, uh, um... And, um, man, sorry, sa sailing is, like, such a passive thing, and yet you do need to concentrate, so I'm sorry that I'm kind of not paying attention to chat very well here, because uh, I want to read your comments and stuff, like, your little, uh, little comments and stuff. Um, yeah, to uh, try, to, to, tr to avoid, oh, hang on, are we here? Oh, well, we are here already, okay, well, that was quicker than expected. Um, hang on, I'm just going to read Kevin's comment, I liked Kevin. Uh, to, to try avoiding spoilers, it is to your benefit to have played one and two before playing three. Right, so... Um, uh, I wouldn't talk about your favorite blade just because I haven't sort of seen too many blades or anything like that. Um, but, um, Xander, you're only great with two of the tutorials. They're pretty bad. It's annoying that there's not, like, a list of them somewhere. Um, and it, and it, in fairness, like, that, that was one thing, basically, I was going to say later on. It's not very good at explaining things. Even, like... Um, it has this thing, I won't waffle on, we'll, we'll play Zelda in a sec, I promise. But, like, it has this thing called attack cancelling, right? Uh, that's, like, this, this feature. It's like, oh, it's attack cancelling, or attack cancels. And you're like, oh, is that, like, just 
cancelling an attack, like stopping an attack before you do it or something like that. Um, and it's like, not really what it is. It's like, you have like this auto attack. Like when you're in battle, the way the battle works is that your character just like attacks every like second or so, just like, you know, slashes at the enemy. But then you have these like manual attacks that you can periodically do. And basically the attack canceling is like, oh, if you time your attack, if you time your manual attack, um, at the moment that you're kind of doing the auto attack, like when, so like, you're doing your auto attack, so like, slash, 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 slash. Like, if you do your manual kind of at the same time as a slash connect, so like, slash, slash, slash manual, like, that's an attack cancel. But it's like, that's a terrible name for it. And if it, and at the beginning of the game, you're overwhelmed with all this information. Like, I just, I wouldn't be surprised if a load of people, like, didn't realize that there's, like, a good timing mechanic kind of thing and, like, pay attention to it. But yeah. Um... But, um, so, yeah, like, just, Aubrey, hi, lovely to see you. Um, but yes. Um, okay, so, right, anyway, so let's, let's play some Zelda. I'll talk more about Xenoblade in a second, but, um, yes, do you not see what rises up on the horizon? That is where you must go, Toon Link, the Forest Haven. Okay, so here we are, at Forest Haven already. That was way quicker than I thought. Um, I thought we'd see more islands and that I'd talk to more fishes and open up more of the map, but oh well. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising from the ocean's surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. I used to say Deku as a kid, but I think it's Deku, so I'm gonna say Deku. <laughs> um, you must speak with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Faroor's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of emails, but luckily they all seem to be spam. Uh, or just, like, you know, stuff I don't need to care about. Um, Go forth with caution, Toon Link. Um, oh, look, there's a little mailbox here. How cute. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Xenoblade 2. I'm enjoying it so far, but yes, I think the, the tutorial... So one thing about... Sorry, this is the thing I'm trying to say about Xenoblade. Xenoblade... Xenoblade has, like, so much going on with it. There we go. Bokopo, what is this? Boko, Boko Baba seed, that's it. Uh, I was like, it's like a Bokopo seed. <laughs> a Bokopo. <laughs> um, um, hang on, this is a bit more zoomed in than I would like. Um, oh, yeah, I can. Aha. Oh, look at that. Look, there's. Oh, ooh, lots of fun stuff here. Okay. Um, anyway, let's fight this other Boko, Boko Baba. Boko Baba. Um, yeah. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there we go. You get it straight, and then when it's straight, that's when you hit it. Nice, lovely stuff. Um, oh, I f I'm forgetting. I should be grappling hooking these guys, shouldn't I? Um, gotta remember to grappling hook enemies. Because then, look, then you get the Boko Baba seed. Like, guaranteed. One of those, one of them gave me a rupee, but if I grappling hook it, I get the, uh, Anyway, um, so Xenoblade has a lot going on, and I haven't played Xenoblade for, like, a long time. And, oh, go watch out for, uh, that Octorok as well. Um, hang on, we're just gonna line up with this guy, and then, boom, nice. Um, can I jump over here? I can, nice. Um... So I haven't played Xenoblade in a long time, and it is an overwhelming game, and unless you're kind of, like, really tuned into it. Like, if I play three, like, say, this Christmas, which would be a nice thing, um, then, um, if I played three, like, this Christmas, then, um, then I'll probably get on with three quite well right away. But I haven't played Xenoblade for a very long time. Um, and so... Oh, hang on. No, no, no. There we go. Um... I haven't, I haven't played Xenoblade in a long time, so there is, like, a lot of getting used to things again, where I kind of, like, half remember things, but then I kind of half don't remember things, and, um, you know, so th there is, like, a lot. That is the thing about Xenoblade games, which isn't the most ideal thing. There is, like, a lot going on, and there is, like, a lot to take in, and there's, a, and, and I do think sometimes it's, like, a bit, there's a bit too much stuff. Sometimes there's stuff for the sake of stuff. Like, for example... Um, each character has, like, a blade that kind of is, like, a companion or whatever, and you can sort of switch out the blades a bit and stuff. Um, hang on a sec. Um, and, um, 
and w one of the characters has like this artificial blade and it's like to get her upgrades you need to like play this mini game and it's like why can't i just upgrade her like all the others why does she have to have this like whole separate way of upgrading her it's very it's very weird um so um so there's a lot of stuff going on and i think sometimes there's a bit too much stuff and even stuff like collecting the items, it's like you get these little hot spots where items come out the ground. It's like, can't items just be like little orbs on the ground that I can walk into, like in the first Xenoblade? Like, why do I have to like go up to a spot and press a button? You know, I'm like pressing a button for the sake of pressing a button, kind of thing. Um, and then the and then the and then the items all like spew out everywhere, and it's just all, um, it, it's just it's it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, and um, there's a lot going on. So there's a lot for me to like get used to, and I kind of half remember some things, but then I sorry I can't seem to jump up here, which is really annoying. Um, so there's just yeah, there's like a lot. Oh, hang on. Oh no, okay. Um, so th there's just there's just like a lot going on. So it's a lot to get used to, but I'm having fun with it and I'm enjoying it. But it, it's one of those things where like a lot is going on, and you're kind of like, am I doing this right? Am I am I Xenoblading? I don't know. <laughs> um, so I think I'm kind of like, I think everything that I need to know, I'm kind of getting on with so far, but I'm so afraid of like, if there's something that I should be doing. Like I, I, I've i kind of begun using the pouch items and I think from what I understand, I should be kind of really trying to use those as often as I can. Um, so um, yes. Um, but um, but yeah. Oh, with regards to the DLC, like Xander and and Kevin and anyone else. Um, oh, hang on. See that there's a uh, there's a little uh, like firefly here. I'm just gonna go to my items quickly. I'm gonna get one of my bottles. I'm gonna get my new empty bottle, and then hang on. I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my sword away. I'm gonna crouch up to this guy. Um, no, no, no. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Yeah, there we go. We got a forest firefly. Um, so there we go. Um, but anyway, Bark. Um, so, but that one was a bit different. Look, we've got all these ones that are yellow, but that one was going multicolored. Oh, well, I'm sure that won't be relevant later. Sorry, so many things to talk about. Like, I want to talk about this game. I want to talk about Xenoblade. Ah, uh, so much going on. Um, so, um, but, th so there's a lot going on with Xenoblade, and it's fine, because it's one of those things where once you're, like, really on it, like, once you're, like, really aware of, like, all of it, um, you know, like, it's like, ah, you feel so powerful, you feel great. Um, oh, no! There's a big tree, but there's, like, enemies on the tree! Oh, no! There's, like, choo-choos there! Oh, no! Like, roar, he's distressed! And he sounds like Bowser! Um, hang on. Yeah. Gonna roll into the tree, and then we're gonna... Yeah, just gonna do some spin attacks here. Yeah! Yeah! I'm not going to worry too much about chew jellies just because you do get like a bajillion of them. Um, that said, I apparently had never got a green chew je jelly. Um, hang on, what? There we go. Yeah. There we go. Um, oh, I don't want a cutscene to kick in. Oh, never mind. We'll talk about Xenoblade later. Is the Monado the Xenoblade? Is the Monado the Xenoblade? <laughs> um, but yes. Um, so, um,. But there's a lot going on. Um, it would. Nintendo needs to let Bo voice a character in Xenoblade. He's already British. Like, come on. It would be so beautiful. Oh, thank you, Wood. I would really love that. I don't really know. I'll talk about this more as well. I've, I think I have talked about it in previous streams. But a very sad thing about voiceover is that uh, there are a lot of roles that you kind of maybe have to resign yourself to maybe not getting. Uh, just because of, like, studios and stuff. It's very sad, basically. Because certain franchises can be kind of, like, in charge of... Uh, you know, you, you have to, it's like certain franchises are attached to certain voice recording studios and like the voice, the voice options kind of are largely influenced by what voiceover recording studio um, are like working on the game. And so there's kind of a thing where it's like, you guys know me, you like me, you know my work, you know what I'm capable of doing. And like, you, you may be able to look at a character and go, oh, that is like so Bo Bridgeland. But um, but if the voiceover recording studio doesn't know who what a Bo Bridgeland is, um, then it's just too 
too too bad too bad luck so uh but so Z- but xenoblade actually does seem to record like in england so i think i would be unlikely to record in a xenoblade unless they continued on with the x series we get xenoblade y and xenoblade z um which would be cool and what i'm hoping for uh because that i have that studio do kind of know me i you know so we'll we'll see um but even so i I still wouldn't bank on that though you know um but yeah so it's a bit of a hard thing but but it's why i've sort of talked before why i try not to get too attached to like certain franchises and stuff so much because so often like it's really like do you know this one person or do you know this one studio and if the answer is no it's like tough luck so so i would absolutely love to be in xenoblade though and listening to this game just like makes me so happy and makes me like oh i wish i could be on one of them (laughs) so um okay um but right (laughs) so we're getting to zelda now Um, I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. So Sorry that the King of Hyrule, the Deku Tree, and basically any other kind of like old or big character is going to essentially sound this way. Um, I'm trying to mix it up subtly, but um, I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Yes, indeedy. So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the pearl of the goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. So this voice feels a little bit weird, just because normally the Deku tree is like the oldest, old, old, oldy, old, old man, like the oldest living being in like Hyrule. Uh, but in this game, I feel like he's got a sort of quite young looking face. <laughs> um, I sort of like the face in this game, but it, it was it was kind of weird after Ocarina of Time, because Ocarina of Time had the more like old looking tree and this one looked younger. But, um, but yes, um, so, okay. Uh, Xenoblade 2 is really good about using all the European access. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's so, it's so weird seeing like Japanese style visuals. But then having the lead character be like a bloke from Bolton, um, <laughs> and uh, like it's brilliant. Like it's not bad. It, like it, when I say it's weird, I'm not saying it's bad, right? I'm just saying it's like it's just so. I'm so used to like just hearing like American. Like when I see like anime style, it's like oh that that's American accent. You don't hear English accent with that. So it's weird feel like oh come on Gramps, I'll be fine Gramps. You know like it's just it's funny. It's funny. Um, Okay, uh, so, um, what do you call yourself? Toon Link. Well then, Toon Link, these are the Koroks. Koroks, spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes.
Yeah, I, well, it's an interesting thing because I'm I have a bit of a theory about like the accents and the different types of accents you hear. Like, oh, characters who are like this have this accent, and characters who are like that have that accent. That I have a bit of a theory going on, but I won't say any more just in case I'm spoiling anything for anyone. Uh, and I'm sorry if that does spoil anything for anyone. But like all like the police people have like Scottish accents, like all that sort of police people and sort of thing. Um, they all like had Scottish accents, so. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, but okay. Uh, let's see. Um, now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold, but once every year, it is about to begin. I should grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So, let it begin. Are you ready, my children? Like, we, we are not a great Deku tree. Something terrible has happened. It is Mecca! Mecca! What is the matter, Linda? You and Mecca are always late. No, no, it is not that, oh great Deku Tree. Mecca fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still Mecca flew above the Forbidden Woods, and he and as he drew close to it. Oh, foolish little Mecca. To Link, you have heard all this. I also heard that the bird, bird, bird. No, yes. Um, yes, I did hear it all. Um, so I'm so hopping back between like Zelda and Xenoblade. I need to find a good time to talk about Xenoblade. <laughs> um, but anyway, sorry. Um, okay. Uh, um, so the Forbidden Woods are right beside the hello island of our forest haven. Those woods... The whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Maka. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The king of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of, of you, but can you go rescue young Maka for me? But great Deku Tree... People cannot fly through the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, child, for reminding me of that very obvious fact. Toon Link. <laughs> I would guess from... I never would have guessed that. Oh, if only I could grow a hand and slap my forehead with it. Yes, of course, you can't fly. Um, Toon Link. I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Despite being the same height as them, you little tubby tub 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 tubby kids. Yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. Way to body shame him, Deku Tree. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. <laughs> Why does the Deku tree look like Shrek? That's what I kind of think. Like, like, you're not wrong. That's the thing. Like, I do like this design, but it's just sort of... One, it is just a bit odd because of... I think you're right that, yeah, it, it kind of is, like, reminiscent of Shrek or something. And then, two, it's just very different from, like, the design that they already had in Ocarina of Time. And not that they have to strictly be like, oh, it has to look like this way forever, but... I don't know. Like, just just give him a moustache. Um, so, <laughs> shrek -o tree <laughs> Yes, Santa. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, chat. Like, if 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 you like, Xander has one comment of the day. I'm sorry. It like it is pointless. Any of you chat, like, please keep filling the chat up. But like, it is pointless to comment for the rest of the stream. Xander has one. I didn't even know that chat was a competition, but apparently it is. And Xander Renoa is this week's winner. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, Bark. Um, so, forgive me, Toon Link, but you climb to my crown and get the leaf from up there. Um, okay, sorry. Right, let's do this thing. 
Let's get this thing. Okay. So, oh, hang on. Um. Oh, hang on. I got a firefly, but is my firefly the same as this firefly? Oh, I hope so. Um. Are all the fireflies the same, or is there just one special firefly? I'm confused now. I'm kind of half... Because I want to get this firefly now, if we can. But they... Like, that firefly looks the same as... This firefly, which, which looks the same as the firefly in my... Um... My, uh... In my bottle. That I already have. I mean, it's like changing color. That's... That's all... Oh, whatever. Um, do, 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 do. Hang on. Nay ain't okay. I think part of the weirdness is that the head protrudes so far from the trunk. Like the, tree, like, the tree is growing out of a man's neck rather than the tree having a face. Yes, I would say that too. I would... Yes, that's kind of what... Yeah, it, it's sort of more... It's not like the tree is, like, carved out of the... It, that's thing. It, it's it's not so much that the tree is like carved out of the face is carved out of the tree. It's that either there's a face that there's like a tree with a face growing out of it, or out like out of it, or that there is a face with a tree growing out of it, <laughs> which is something kind of very different. But we Koroks passed most of our days from the sacred to have it. Yeah, whatever. Um, but poor Maka, please, great swordsman, save our brother. Um. Oh, this is like the shop, right? Or like potion shop? Yeah, you. Oh, yeah, this guy. This guy like makes potions, right? Like with bo bo Boko Baba seeds. I'm just going to skip past this. I'm not going to read this. Um, but yeah. Seeds from flower monsters. Okay, yeah. So this guy, you can like make potions of Boko Baba. I don't really care about that now. Um... Okay. Um, okay. Hang on. So how do we get... Um, oh, right. Hang on a sec. We need to go here. Okay, so you go in the... Oh, hang on. Wait, wait. Hang on. So I'm trying to, like, control it with the control the, the uh, camera stick rather than the, um, <laughs> rather than, I was, like, trying to use the camera stick to, like, move around, but, um, but you, you have to just use the joystick con to control these. Um, you're good at that, Mr. Knight. Get up to the top and blah, 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 and tilt the stick, and, yeah, well, well, that's what I've been doing, my friend. Um, hang on a sec, I'm just gonna... I'm just going to line this up a little bit better. There we go. Um, there we go. Right, swing back, swing forward, swing back, swing forward, swing back. Right, here we go. This this is the one that will get it. Here we go. Oh, it's very nerve-wracking, lining this up properly. I always feel like you're going to drop like just the teensiest bit short as well. Like It always looks like you're going to drop just the teensiest bit short. But, um, but yes. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna get an item. We're gonna get an item. We're gonna get an item. <gasps> no, 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 no. We got a deku Um, Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air on enemies and objects. You can also uh, jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on currents of the wind. Swordsman over oh, Like, swordsman, over here. Over here, swordsman. Please, you must fly over there using your deku leaf. Um, but... What if, instead of that, though? No, no, no. Go back, go back, go back. Um, hang on, let me just uh, put my leaf on my... Hang on a sec, let me... Oh! Oh, no! No! Okay, well, this is fine. Uh, come on, come on. We're going this way. Here we go. Um, here we go. Oop! Hey, we made it. Very good, Sourceman. You mastered using it. Well, th that wasn't really like a most comprehensive tutorial, but okay. Well, anyway, Buck. Uh, please take care of Maka or something. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to be cutting grass because this is old school Zelda, not new school Zelda. 
That's like in New Zelda, you like rarely, you barely ever like cut grass, like just randomly cut grass. Like you can cut grass, and you may find a bug or something, but in these games, you're constantly chopping that grass up. Um, hand over your seed, Korok. I found you, Xander says. Yes, exactly. Um, oh, so, sorry if the visuals are rubbish at the minute. I don't know why that's happening. Let me just try one thing very, very quickly. Again, I. I think it's something to do with, like, the Wii U and this game in particular. Uh, let me just do one thing. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Okay, well, sorry if the visuals are poor for a while. Uh, I have no control over this. Um, okay, so, right, we're going to go here, we're going to go here, we're going to go here. Um, so, right, what we have to do here is... I'm going to just wait a second. Um... Okay. Doo -doo. Oh, crud. I forgot to change the direction of the wind. I forgot I should have talked to that little dude. That little dude. Oh, no, and I mistimed it because the wind. The wind. The wind. This is fine, though. We're still going to make it. I just need to be very careful. Uh, there we go. Right, let's replenish our magic. Come on, give me more magic. Give me more magic. I need more magic. There we go. Okay. Um, right, so hang on, zoom out, oh hang on, there we go, um, so he's like, oh, but that, like, nice job, swordsman, da, 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 da. you've mastered everything, the replenish your magic power, but the entrance is much higher level, so you have to use the updraft from the swirling, swirling, but you have to time your jump just right. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention to that, but did he say anything about, um, did he say anything about, like, the direction of the wind, because basically, um, we do need to change the wind to match the direction with... Oh, I probably... Mm, hang on. I probably need to do that again, actually. I think I need it more northwestish. I dare say. Can I, like, zoom in on this map? I want the map more zoomed in. How do I get the map more zoomed in? No, 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 no. Uh, how do I get the map more zoomed in? Um... Like, I swear on the old game... Oh, dang it. I didn't talk to a fish. I didn't talk to a fish, so of course I didn't. Okay, well, this is fine. Um, yeah, no, I want the wind more northwest, though, don't I? So hang on. Okay, sorry. Um, okay. Uh, let's go northwest. There we go. That's better. That's better. Um, yeah, so hang on. Sorry for ADHD brain. I'll... Or, or um, so for people who need every bit of grass cut, we'll, we'll cut every bit of grass here. Um, there we go. Um, okay. Right, so what we're going to do. So here, so we, we float over to this island. I should have changed the direction of the wind, but it all worked out. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for... Okay. Hang on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. We let this thing blow us up. How do you, like, zoom out in this game? Can you not, like, zoom... Oh! Oh, no, no, no! Wait, wait, wait! Uh, <laughs> please say I land on top of that. Right, okay, good. Um, how do you... Okay. Because I guess I sort of want to, like... I want to zoom out so I, like, you know... I'm not, like, you know, like this. Because if I just hold out on the stick, it kind of, like, goes above him. And I don't, I don't want the camera angle to go above him. That's the thing. I want to be able to, like, zoom out but look forward. Um, okay. Let's try this again. That's that's too zoomed out. <laughs> this is like the Hans Moleman thing. It's like, no, that's too zoomed out. Uh, okay. Oh, no, wait, hang on. I need more magic. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Can, is this just like... Okay, hang on. Sorry. I didn't realize that wasn't going to, like, not replenish my magic. Let's replenish the magic. I'm not going to hit all the grass this time. I do apologize. Sorry, I, s I apparently suck at this game. I didn't realize I suck at this game. Okay, um, so we're looking northwest. We're waiting for the we're waiting for Mr. Hurricane. Come on, Mr. Hurricane, come this way, and then I could talk about Xenoblade. Um, okay, right. Let's make some magic. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come. On. Okay, right. Zoom out. But see, I don't want it to go above, right? Like I want to avoid these enemies and stuff. So hang on, we're gonna just drift left a little bit. 
and then we're gonna drift right a little bit. We're gonna go a quarter to the left, and then oh no, wait, no, oh, sorry, I was expect, I forgot, like I was expecting there to be some momentum there, right? Oh, hang on, you get the feathers from these guys. Oh, hang on. Well, okay, we're just gonna go in the dungeon. So this is our second dungeon. Yeah, very quick. Um, dun 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 Okay, so, so look, here we go. So we've got this thing here, right? So we need to go up to this thing, but as we approach this thing, it closes its eye. Like, so when we walk away from it, oh, hang on. I want to get your, I want to get your goop. Give me your goop. There we go. Okay, fine. You have to wait for these guys to stand upwards and then you hit them. Ugh, there we go. Whatever. Whatever. Just give me your goop. There we go. Oh, th there is a bit of an A button reaction thing there, but I didn't want I didn't have my sword out and I didn't want to press it and whatever. Right, three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. Three and one. Nice. Um, okay, so this is the beginning of our second dungeon. Well, not quite. There's always like a bit of a room like before the dungeon. Um, there's always like a bit of a room before. Like, but I think we had this in the previous dungeon where there's kind of like a room at the beginning of the dungeon. We have to like solve like a little bit of a mini puzzle. And then, um, and then once you solve that, you're like in the dungeon, but could be wrong. Hang on, let's... Come on, stand up, stand up, stand up. There we go. And I was kind of waiting for those two behind me as well, hoping that they'd get close enough. And they did, which was awesome. Um, there we go. Right. Open up, Mr. Dungeon. Okay. Oh, come on, that faded just as I was landing on it. Hang on, I'm gonna just cut some grass here just because I want to see if there's any hearts. I am like a heart short from those, those little dudes, but nope. Okay, so what we do is we grab this thing and we throw. Yes, okay, nice. So yeah, you have to hit it from a distance. Um, and this leads us into the dungeon. So like, how do I zoom out without it, like, ugh, never mind. I'm like, how do I zoom out without, like, me needing to... Right, whoop. But yeah, you, your momentum doesn't carry on, so you have to, like... Okay, hang on, whoop. Here we go. And cancel. There we go. Nice. Hang on. I really don't want to, like, slice that bomb. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Um, sweet. Okay. So, right. Uh, so, as you can see, um, so we could keep going up here, although I don't really know what there is if we keep going up. Let's, let's get this door out of the way, and then we'll go up a little bit higher, shall we? So, I'm not as good as paying attention to chat today. Um, and so also the visual sometimes just looks a bit slower. It, it's so weird because on my other streams, right, when I've had like slow down, I can like, you know, my, my computer will sort of say like, oh, you're running at like a lower number of frames and you're dropping frames. But like this, it's just, te it's, it's telling me that like 100% diagnosis report, like, so I don't really know quite what's going on, but, ooh, that was a bit, that was closer than I would have liked, but. Oh, this is, oh, this is when we're here later, I think. Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to get this one till later. But that's okay. We can... We can, um... If we can't get it till later, that's not a problem. Ooh, the Boko Baba. Hang on, let's grab your seed. Wait for this guy to come back up. There we go. Nice. Okay, cool. There we go. Look at that. We, we, we know how to beat enemies. We can do combat. Um, okay, so... Um, we'll 
get these rupees, even though we really don't need them. Um, we, like, really don't need these, but... Ooh, 500. Is 500 our limit? I think 500 might be our limit. Um, let me just... Ooh, 500's our limit. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Um, okay, so we opened up a door down here. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, we didn't get this door? Unless it revived. Ah, oh, we missed it. Okay. I need to walk a little bit closer then. Oh, that... <laughs> it bumped against the door. Hang on. Hang on. We'll drop you down and then we'll walk away and then we'll... We'll just... We'll, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. There we go. Um, ow. Um, okay. The sound of the goops when they hit a wall is so cartoony. It, it's weird because this game, um, Good Vibes Gaming did a really good retrospective about the first few. They've been doing like a bunch of Zelda retrospectives. Um, highly recommend them. Oh, I, I imagine like they tell you this when you get the item, but I don't think this is explained well enough. Um, you can use your leaf like as a fan, but I imagine a lot of people got to this room and were like, what do I do? And they probably just kind of fumbled around a lot. Um, <laughs> like, not knowing that they needed to do this. Um, okay, here we go. I mean, this is like a good little tutorial room, because there's literally nothing else you can do in here apart from activate those fans. But, um, but still. It, it, yeah, they, they, I wish they'd have... There should have been like a signpost or just something. Um, hang on, we'll get the feather, because these guys give feathers. And then you can use your leaf to blow them, and then that stuns them. And then, because I, I, I only just remembered that you can use your leaf to get these guys. I thought we needed uh, another item, which we'll be getting a little bit later on. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. I don't want to get too close to these guys. There we go. Um... But, um, so I'm hopping all over the place today. Seems very distracted. It's also very warm. I might need to turn on the AC soon because, um, just, I sort of turned it off just for, like, audio quality reasons, but, um, but I might need to turn it on soon just because it's probably going to get pretty hot today. It's been very hot here in California lately. Really interesting thing. In the UK, they've, like, had a lot of rain, uh, like, throughout July, which is really interesting. Because, uh, like, when I moved out here five years ago, um, the, I, I left, like, just as a massive heat wave was beginning in the UK. Um, and, um, and I remember, like, my final full day in England, I, like, checked the weather in England and in Burbank. And in the UK, it was hotter than it was in Burbank. Like, I was literally moving to a cooler place, technically, technically. Um, and, um, which was just so, to quote my friend Ryan Bartley, wild. Um, and, um... And so ever since then, I kind of periodically have, like, say, checked the, the weather kind of thing. Like, in the summer, I'll, I'll sort of check, like, oh, how hot is it in the UK? Like, if it's if it's this hot here in in Burbank, how hot is it? Um, how hot is it in the UK? And usually the answer has been, oh, it's been very hot as well. Maybe not as hot, but, like, hot as well. Um, but um, hang on a sec. There we go. Just have to get the angle right on that. Okay, and then we jump here. Nice. There we go. Okay. So I'm too zoomed in. Too zoomed in. Um, hang on a sec. How do I... I mean, I can put this down, but I don't want it to, like, start rolling away or anything. Oh, look, there's a little chest down there. We'll have to make sure we get that. Um... It's like, I'm very worried of... Ooh, okay. Throw. Yes, okay, we made it. Um, let's... Hold on a sec. Let me just... Can I, like, just edge off this edge? There we go. Nice. Um, this is probably just going to be, like, a joy pendant, but... Oh, I've read rupees. Okay, nice. Well, actually, that's pointless, because we've already got 500. But oh, well. Um... Okay, hang on, whoop. But, uh, yeah, so I've periodically kind of checked the uh, weather, and usually, like, you know, the UK's been, like, pretty hot as well. Um, but, um, 
but like this year i've sort of checked and it, you know i've sort of seen like rain and then one of my one of my family members sort of said oh hang on this is quite a clever puzzle look so it's like as we go throughout this room it's like as we approach these things uh they come up right so it's like oh okay so hang on there's like this nut in the middle of the room and it seems like it's got this like barrier all around it huh what do we do what do we do well if we get our leaf we can blow it uh, out of the ring which is really cool that's a really clever little puzzle i do like that um let me just hang on we have to take a step away so we're a little bit there we go nice um is there anything up on the ceiling no okay so yeah that's a really nice solid little puzzle puzzle um okay Oh, there was a trick I should have checked out before this video, and you guys probably know the uh, trick I am alluding to, <laughs> if you're savvy with this game. Um, but, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Um, hang on a second. Hang on one second. Right, so it's like, okay. Oh, hang on, he's... This thing, if you're ever not sure what to do, look at Link's eyes, because often he will tell you. He's looking up. <laughs> I was like, huh, how do we get up there? It's like, oh yeah, the other item we have. We only have, like, two items. But I kind of... I kind of forget, like, I'm so used to the Zelda mentality of, like, oh, you just... You kind of just use your new item. Don't worry so much too much about your, your old one. Um, okay, hang on a sec. Right, we're, okay, so there's a, a door with a key, but we don't have a key. So let's just go this way. Oh, why am I collecting rupees? We got 500. We don't need to... We need to just buy, like, a buttload of bait from Beetle next time we see Beetle, don't we? Um, just just for the sake of, like, using up money. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, right. Um, but, yeah, no, the so the UK has been... Uh, pretty damp, uh, so to speak. Like, there's just been a lot of rain. Um, I did see a treasure chest down there, so let's, um, hang on. We'll just jump down here for a sec. And we'll get this chest. Oh, more rupees. I was hoping for, like, joy pendants and stuff. Normally, normally I would welcome rupees rather than, like, a joy pendant. But, um, he's got a spin, and then... There we go. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Um, okay, so was the king of red lions? I felt like the king of red lions might have been trying to talk to me then. I felt like I had like the, the little symbol came up. I don't know um, if it if it did. It was so quick. Um, okay. Um, right. Oh, can I? Oh, yes, you can. I, I saw a little patch of leaves earlier, and I was like, wait, can I blow the patch of leaves? And the answer is yes. Yes, I can. Um, ow, 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 ow. I didn't press. Okay, no. That was the angle of the camera and stuff, whatever. Um, okay, hang on. No, not that way. It's going to be this way, though. Yep. And then this way... This is basically just kind of like a bit of a zigzag. Um, let's see. That's going to be too firm because there's not already a break in it. So let's go in here. I think he was looking up this way. Yeah. There we go. That shadow is really nice. I can't remember if the regular... If, like, classic Wind Waker had a little shadow like that, but... Um, but the little green shadow, that's 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 a nice that's a nice game that's a nice game feature. Oh no, joy pendant, wait, I want the joy pendant! No, oh no, and now I've missed all the hearts and oh no, and now I'm getting beaten up by leaves and plants and all kinds of things. Um Hang on, I need to Uh hang on, I need to like find my way back round ow, find my way back round again. Sorry, I do apologize for wasting time. Wasting, wasting time. Um, okay, so I'm not... This isn't even good commentary today. I do apologize. Um, so anyway... Oh, there's the bomb. There's the bomb. There's the bomb. That's what I want. I want the bomb. 
I just want that bomb. That's, oh, well then hang on, how do I get to the bomb? Oh, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Hold on one second. Right, we're gonna, hopefully a load of plants don't come out and attack me here. Hang on a sec, we're gonna pick this up, we're gonna throw it. Okay, nice. Hang on, I'm just gonna check the limits of plants, okay? Okay, right. Ooh, here we go. The shadow was added in the HD version. Okay, thank you for letting me know that Cappy draw. I was like, I feel like I remember just having like a regular shadow in on the GameCube. I was like, I don't remember there being like a nice big, clear, easy to see green one. So that's good to know. Um, so hang on, we're gonna pick up this bomb. And we're gonna throw... Oh, no. Nope, I need to get closer. Um... Did that hit? Please say that hit. It hit, yay! Okay, nice. Uh, right, so we'll go around again now. Um, but yeah, no, so weather's been very, very, very hot. But it's, it's weird, because we've been having these like worldwide record temperatures right like like i think we did have the like hottest day on earth like if you added up like you know all the various temperatures in various places or whatever but the uk has uh, not been experiencing it quite as much as other places have um you know which is both a good thing and a it, it's a, well it, it, it's sort of it, i was gonna say it's a good thing and a bad thing in that like i want the uk to have some nice weather but I don't want them to have the kind of, you know, hottest ever weather. Um, like, it, it's it's not that their weather has been, oh, like, it's been nice. Um, it's like, no, it's still been bad. It's just been a different kind of bad, like rain in summer. Um, okay, so let's, hang on a sec. We'll go this way. And then we'll, but yeah, you don't seem to carry momentum when you when you drop. I'll, I'll see if I can demonstrate. Hang on, how do I get out of here? Oh, there's a door. Oh, I'm gonna need to go through the door, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna need to go through the door. Okay, hang on then. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about KOing all these this time. It's kind of pointless. Let me just wait for one, two. No, no. Ah, I mistimed it. I horribly mistimed that. Let's just get all these jellies, even though we really don't need them. Um, there we go. Nice. Um, so, yeah, please stay safe out there. But, yeah, so if I do turn on the AC later, that's the long-winded reason why. Um, anyway, oh, we are an hour into this. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this very boring commentary. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to say that after I said I should say it more. But um, yeah, every time I reach a dungeon, beat a dungeon, every time I solve a dungeon puzzle, I should be saying like and subscribe. Um, okay. Oh, I need to be. Like, I need to make sure I cut the grass as well. Um, I need to make sure I need to be grappling these things as well. I need to be just. Oh, so much stuff I need to be doing. Um, right. Let's hit this thing. Hang on. Let's hit this thing. Here we go. That gets this very slowly. Okay, that's the one I already... Oh, okay, hang on. We're, we're moving. Not in the direction I thought we are going to move, but... No, 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 no. Hang on. What if I just blow this this way? Oh, okay. There we go. We'll do that. Right, is there anything in this room? Not really. It doesn't look like it's worth landing on the floor in here, so let's go. Oh, this might be the room where we get our special item. Uh, our very special item. Uh, little bug things. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 hang on. I don't want to go in here just yet. Um, hang on. I want to stay on the floor for a sec. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um. Yeah, the, the long hair isn't ideal. It's not as bad as when it's kind of more like medium. Because when it's more like medium, you sort of get this big f flop of heavy hair. Like, my hair's quite heavy. Um, and you get this big flop of heavy hair, like, just kind of, like, 
sat on your head. Uh, whereas when it's like long, it kind of flops more around like the sides and down or whatever. So it's not as so it's not sort of as bad, but yeah, it's still not great. Um, but but like here in America though, it like I sort of been saying, you know, it's not so bad just because like the air conditioning is so good. Um, so that's nice at least. But um, but, it, but still, it's um, but if you do have to go out at all, it's uh, not good. Hang on. We'll get your feather. And then we'll KO you whilst you're stunned. And I don't know if you're the one I have the feather from. There we go. Okay, he's just going to fall. Whatever. Let's go into... I think it's this door if I look at my map. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. So we've got like a little mini boss. And then, yeah, I need, I, that's a good point. Nay, ain't, ain't okay. Have some water as well. I'm going to have some water after we do this little mini boss here. Um, oh, no, the pollen. The pollen. Watch out for pollen as well. Hey, we've got a feather. Nice. Hang on a sec. No. Yeah, there we go. So you've got to blow with the leaf, and then it drops down. When these things cling to you, you can't walk very quickly either. Um, oh, 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 hang on. We have to... Oh, there's like a timing thing. Okay, well, I can do that. I can time. I can time buttons. Or we can just stun it with the leaf. Oh, no. Hang on. Okay, well, we'll wait for the, the timing action. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then... Ow, 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 ow. There we go. I'm just gonna cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Slice it, slice it, slice it. Slice, 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 slice. Yeah, there we go. Um, so there you go. Like, use your leaf, do the A button, time presses. Like, that's how you beat that thing. Um, right, let's have some water, and then we will get our magical, mystical item of doom. Um, I forgot to eat cookies before the stream. But I do have them in here with me. But I didn't, I didn't put them away right away, so I hope they're not, like, slightly stale or anything like that. Right, here we go. Oh, I didn't fill up my water very much, either. <clears throat> Ooh, we got the boomerang! Which some of you... You actually do get this specific boomerang, I believe, in uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So if you recognize this particular look, um, that is why. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, let me... Let me just uh, check my items. Uh, hang on, how do we want this? Let's put the grappling hook on R and the boomerang on X, and then that's probably good. Because, like, having the grappling hook on R, yeah, that works nicely. And then, um, and then, like, our leaf on Y, and then our boomerang on X. Okay, so, we are stuck in this room. The, the, the door is still locked. Like, beating the boss did not unlock the door. What do we do? Are we stuck in here forever? Is this the end of our Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker stream? Well, no, because if you look at his eyes, he's looking up. And what is he looking up at? But these two dotted things. Um, but yeah, so the boomerang is really cool in this game. You can, like, multi-target. So, like, this kind of thing. Um, it's really cool. And you can target up to five things. It leads to a lot of really fun puzzles. Uh, it's really fun for combat. The boomerang is so good in this game. It's, yeah, just, ah, uh, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, and it means you can just beat these things, which is cool. Uh, um, I know I should have, hang on, I should have R button. R, there we go. And then R. There we go, nice. Um, hang on. Hang on, I'm going to. Just, I'm just going to get him out of the way because I don't trust that. Now, uh, there are these nuts um, hanging. Uh, so you've got to be very careful when you talk about nuts. Um, but, and you may think, oh, do you need to like, hit the nuts? Um, but you can actually just hit the little eyes on the door now. So we don't even need to have the nuts anymore, which is really cool. Um, let me go back to the map now that we're here on the map. Um, okay. So we got, but here we go. So here we got loads of nuts, um, kind of in the way. We need to, we need to be gliding around at the speed of sound, and um, and we don't have time for, we don't have time for all these shenanigans. 
There we go. Well, I say that actually, but um. No, no, no. Link, why are you facing the wrong way, my dude? Oh, those too far away? Oh, no, there we go. Ah, okay. Well, whatever. Um, let's... Hang on. Yay, we made it. Okay, there we go. So it is that simple. Um, I do wish that platform was just the teensiest bit lower down, because it looks the same height, and I don't really associate jumping across with the leaf as something you do when you're at the same height, but oh well. Um... Oh, so if you remember this big old flower, hang on, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, and oh, there it goes. Okay, um, so I've missed a bunch of chat, um, I didn't realize that, like, <laughs> like, yay hydro gang, That's, I remember seeing that, and then... Oh, yeah, the Spongebob and Patrick from the... Ooh, uh, anyway, um... Okay, anyway, 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 okay. Right, so hang on, what is Link looking at? He's looking at something up there. But now he's looking down. <gasps> he's very suspicious. Okay, um, look, I'm just gonna check my map just for, like, treasure chests and stuff. I'm not too worried about the treasure chests, because they're, they're just gonna contain, like, rupees and joy pendants and stuff. Although, actually, I say that... But, um, there was, mm, there was a treasure chest in one of the other rooms, actually, but oh well, too late. Uh, um, here we go. But yeah, if I let go, you don't really hold much, you don't really get, get, have much forward momentum. Um, okay, so where do we want to, we've just never been in this dungeon this part of the dungeon before like on this floor so we can just go through this is fine Hang on, we'll get our feather and then i used the wrong item so i meant the boomerang <laughs> this is pretty good for these little dudes as well um i don't know if you can hit more than i know this sort of, i don't know if say if you chuck the boomerang in the general direction of these enemies whether you can hit more than just the ones you target. Because uh, there it kind of looks like we hit pretty much all of them. Even though I could only target five. But anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, hang on. We're going to climb up here. Uh, we have to be very careful. Because if you fall off these little podiums, you can land in the water. Oh, come on. I, I wasn't trying to do that to demonstrate. Like, Okay. Um, so you have to be careful. Um... But right, let's go this way, because this is the more lower down looking thing. Oh, jeepers, hang on. Hang on, these little arm things are reaching out. I do not like them one bit. Hey, get out of here, arm thingies. Um, okay, um, Kramen, hello, I like Kramen, and I hope you like Kramen too. Um, and Andrew, hi! Um, and so, again, forgive me, I've been rubbish at chat today. I don't know what's, I, I think basically just my stream almost like not working right before I started, kind of like threw off my brain. So I do apologize. It also is also hot as well. I may, uh, I may put that AC on in a sec, because I suspect the temperature may have crept up a few degrees. I don't want the cats getting hot. Um, so let me just, let me just check that those cats are okay and turn on the AC. Hang on, be right back. Yep, that crept up a few degrees um, in in like the hour and a bit we've been playing. It like gone up several degrees. So um, yeah, let's not let's not uh, let's not do that to ourselves and to the cats. Uh, um, we'll have the AC on for a bit, but I do apologize if just you can hear a little bit of a rumbling, bit of a rumbling and a grumbling in the background. Ow, that was not nice. Right, come on, dung. By the way, there is no, when you like a deflect a projectile in this game, like that projectile deflect, there was like no, there was like no uh, sort of tactile feeling to that. Like you don't feel any sense of impact of 
an item has just hit your shield, bounced off it, and bounced back. It's really... Oh, for the love of pizza. Um, it's really weird and really funny. Um, it, 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 just, it just bounces off. Like, it's very, like, automatic, and you just you don't feel anything. Um, please say that reached. It reached! Okay. Um, nice. So now we're going to get... There's an item in this room. This is probably, like, a key or something. Um, hang on. We're going to blow... That away, because we need we do need a bit more magic. Oh, hang on. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, hang on, I meant to use the R button. I'm trying to use the R button. I'm trying to use R, hang on. No, no, I'm using I'm using all the wrong buttons now. I'm just gonna boomerang this. I'm not gonna worry too much about the feathers now. Like two out of three ain't bad, you know. Um, okay. Um So it is so it is so. Oh no, wait, hang on the I forgot he's He's still a plant. He's still a plant. He's not a real boy yet. There we go. Um, okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so... Uh, the, ooh, okay. So we've got, like, a, a... A door that's all, like, blocked up or whatever. Um, hang on. Yeah, you. Give me your thing. There we go. There we go. Nice. And then... We're gonna do this. Um, there we go. Oh, hang on. There's one left. There we go. Um... So, yes. So, I don't know when I'll talk about Xenoblade 2. Maybe I could talk about it now. No, um, so it's a very good game. There's a lot going on, like, you know, like, the UI and the skills and the tutorials aren't very good. And they aren't, like, preserved anywhere. Like, there's not, like, a menu where it's like, oh, if you need to look back on this tip, like, go to this menu here. Um, and some of the menus are a bit awkward and stuff like that as well. But in, in spite of all these, like, little complaints and stuff that I sort of all these little criticisms that I'm making and stuff like that, I do think that so far it is very good and I am enjoying it and I'm just I'm really curious to see like where the story goes because I think it's, it's so far of like the sort of Xenoblade premises that I'm aware of I feel like it has the uh, sort of least compelling premise I would say, not to say a, a not compelling premise but like the first game has this story of like oh, oh I remember this now so, you may think, ah, do you, like, climb in here and hit this thing? It's like, nope, because it's when it's closed up, we can't boomerang it. Um, so we can't hit this thing. So, even though we can crawl in here, we can't do anything just yet. So we'll have to come back to this later. Um, but, um... Hang on a sec. There we go. Yes, okay. Um... Hang on, we'll hit you... I want to just try one thing here, right? If I just blow this in this direction, opposite direction. Okay, so when I was a kid, I always thought I had to, like, hit the other one. And maybe that's not the case. Um, okay, hang on a sec. So what we do? So we got this bomb. What can we do with this bomb? Well, if we grab this bomb and we throw it in there, boom, it hits the thing. Um, because we were too close to it before. But now we can actually just jump in here. Here we go. The crawl, the, the the little hole that we crawled in was more of a hole to crawl out of. Um, but yes. Um, ooh, Crammon's going to a con. That's cool. Have fun. I'm glad you're not stuck at an airport like uh, like Erica. Uh, <laughs> poor Erica. She's like doing all these like threads and stories of being stuck at the airport. Um, I hope she's okay and that she gets there all right. Um, okay. Um, but, uh, right, let's crow. Oh, that wasn't even, that, oh man, that wasn't even for, that wasn't even for anything. That was just so we could get a treasure chart. Um, oh man. Is there any one treasure chart in each dungeon or, cause I, I really don't want to like go back and check all the treasure chests. Um, if they're just generic things. Um, hang on, we're gonna hit you. Hang on, how do we even get in this room? Oh, there's a door. Is there just like a door over there? I'm very confused how I even got in here now. Okay, no, there is just a door there. Okay. Hang on, I'm just gonna hit grass just in case there's any magic. Do you believe in magic? Um, no. Okay, right. Let's do this thing. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and that's thing, yeah, and, and as Kevin points out, it's not just Erica, it's like there are like loads of voice actors who um, are like 
getting stuck at airports and having delays and stuff this weekend. It's pretty, pretty wild. Uh, pretty, to quote my friend Ryan Bartley, wild. Um, but it's also not because, like, America, like, sort of inter American regional flight travel is just kind of horrendous and, like, just so many flights are, like, delayed or cancelled or late or whatever. It's, it, I will admit, like, I would love to do conventions someday, but I'm nervous at the prospect of just, like, getting stuck at airports or, say, not making it back for a session or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just... Ooh, it's very stressful. Ooh, stressy, stressy, stress, stress, stress. Uh, right, let's... The, another thing as well is you don't really even need to be facing the right way. Like, you just... But they just... Stuff just bounces back at the angle that it came from, which is actually quite a good thing, to be honest. Um, in, like, Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, you can be ever so slightly off and not bounce a thing back and it, it, it's just a bit annoying uh, sometimes when you're like come on i was facing the right angle no you know all uh, right let's oh hang on let's uh, grapple you i want your jelly and now we can just boomerang to get a hit as well which is cool uh, hang on well yeah i don't care about getting his jelly too much um there we go whoop 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 yeah, come on. Um, yeah, Xenoblade. Oh, yeah, hang on. So Xenoblade. Um, hang on, why am I killing all these things? I really don't need to kill all these things. And I think they're just, like, instantly respawning. So let's get out of here. Let's make, like, hockey players and get the puck out of here. Oh, and we're trapped in this room. Great. Just great. Um, okay, so we are stuck. But there is the boss key. That's the boss key chest. So what we have to do is we have to... Uh, find a way to hit all these switches. Well, luckily, we have a way to do that. So hang on, I'm going to use the camera here to do this one. I'm going to use the camera to help me a bit here. Okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, no, I did it wrong. I knew I was doing it wrong. Hang on, so one, two, three, four. Five. And then hang on, we gotta face this way. So look, like that. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. There we go. Like I said, good puzzle solving. Um, one thing I am realizing about this game though is that the puzzles are very basic. I didn't really realize um, how sort of basic the puzzles are and stuff in this game. So I gotta give kudos to Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom for their shrines having such good puzzles. Um, it would. You've always wanted to go to a con, uh, uh, and you're going to one before, decided against it, and then you heard Zach was there. Oh no! Oh no! Uh. Um, and, Z and Zach's going to one that Zander's uh, local to Zander, so that's like kind of why you're going to go there. Nice, nice. That's cool. No, Zach. Zach's like a, Zach's a good guy. He's fun. Um, and I mean, in some ways, I don't know Zach a whole lot, but like he's just been really good to me and. Um, He's been really good to me, and, and just, he's, like, always seemed really nice from what I've kind of gathered, you know, from other people and stuff as well. And, ow! Um, and he won't punch you like this pig. Ow, 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 ow! I'm just trying to, I'm, look, I'm just trying to steal your necklace, okay? Just let me steal your necklace. Let me hit you with a boomerang, steal your necklace, like that. Isn't that, is that too much to ask? Chat, like, vote in the poll. Is it too much to ask to be able to hit someone with a boomerang and steal their necklace? I don't think it is. Okay, anyway, Bark. Right, let's get all these rupees that we don't need. Ugh, I really wish I'd gone to that beetle ship before um, we went to this dungeon. <laughs> oh, well. Um, well. We'll go to beetle after this. It's, it's fine. Um, so I just realized... Um, we beat the enemies, and, oh, hang on, he's looking up there. What are you looking at, Toon Link? Ah, there's a door. Oh, there's a thing. Aha. There's a thing we can grapple to. Nice. Uh, right, let's make, like, hockey players and get the puck out of here. Uh, right, okay. Um, and so far, he's the only VA you've met. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll meet Sarah and Erica and all them very soon, and it'll be fun and wonderful and worth the wait. 
It'll be. It'll probably be a while before I can go. It. It's a bit of a hard, annoying thing because. So like my eyesight's bad, and I, I'll be honest, I kind of want to get my eyesight sorted like before going to conventions. Ideally, like I don't really want to go to conventions. Like I, I really don't want like the stress of traveling like with my bad eyesight. Um, but the thing, but it's it's sort of awkward and hard because it's like, okay, but like I'm not gonna get my eyesight fixed unless I like make a like make a bunch of money, and like if I did a bunch of conventions, that would probably get me the money that I need so that I can go to conventions it's very annoying <laughs> so but at the same but I, although I, when i say that um i say that on some kind of presumption that i would be a wanted and desired guest at a convention and stuff like that which please do not presume that i am because i have only been invited to like one convention twice and that's it like i've never like if, if you guys are like oh boy why haven't you done conventions the main reason is just that i actually haven't been invited um and, uh, you know, like, or even, like, local events. Like, I'd love to do, like, a local event. Like, a local event would be a really good thing to do. Um, but, like, yeah, it just, you know. Um, hang on, how do I get out of here? Um. Hang on, hang on, something's wrong here. Hang on, I'm gonna. Oh, there we go. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. I was like, we gotta go up. But it's like, how do we go up? Um, there we go. Lovely stuff. Um, so hang on, let me just check treasure chests. See, there's one on, like, the fourth floor. Or the third. There's one on, like, the fourth floor. And then there's one on, like, the third floor. And I think I have missed a chest or two, but... Oh, well, we'll have to... Hopefully they weren't important. The main thing in, it, in in like a classic Zelda, all you need are like the map, the compass, and the special item, which in this case is the boomerang. So as long as you have, and the boss key. So as long as you have those like four things, you never need to worry too much in a Zelda game. Um, hang on a sec, we're gonna... Ow, 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 ow. Um... But I, you know, I like getting those, like, if those other items, if they're just joy pendants and stuff, that doesn't matter too much. But if I'm missing, like, a C chart, that does kind of suck. Um. Get off me, you little thing. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Um. Ooh, Howard's got VTubing plans. That's interesting. Um, so, um... Oh, Kramen, I, you have my book ready if uh, you ever do meet me. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, so I have missed a bunch of... Hang on, how do I miss a bunch of chat again? I swear I checked chat, like, not long ago. Oh, bye, Kevin. Well, he's Kev Kevin's gone. Oh, Bo, Kevin's gone. Kevin's gone. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Um... Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like, voice actors aren't really, like, forced to go to... Just going back a bit, but, like, voice actors aren't really, like, forced to go to conventions. There's something that you're invited to and then you accept. There are, like, perhaps some kind of sort of exceptions like say if you are attached to like a franchise and the franchise has a panel and then so they kind of so th th in that regard you kind of go but even then i don't think that's like a hard and fun that's not like if, if you see like a voice actor for like kind of i don't know like an official like demon slayer panel or something where it is kind of like a coordinated thing like uh, i i don't i'm not sure say how much that is like compared to say like you know Robert Downey Jr. having to, like, go to do stuff for, like, the Avengers movies, if that makes sense. I'm not sure for anime, um, how, quite how similar, quite how kind of, like, forced or obliged or whatever it kind of is, but, um, but we'll see. We are nearly at the end of this dungeon, and I have still kind of only half whiffle waffled and waffled about, um, about, um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, hang on. I just want to see, is there any magic? I want to make sure we have magic. We do have magic. Okay, we are topped up on magic. Well, um, 
Now, you can burn the lid off this pot, but we really don't need to do that. There are some treasure chests with mist, but let's just open this up. Let's do our boss. Um, there is an interesting thing about this boss, which, again, I should have looked into this before we began. Begun it, or before we started it, but oh well. <gasps> oh, look! There's a thing in there. There's a little... There's a dude person. Hey, little dude person. Hey! He's all right. Well... That should all be your- oh, no, wait, hang on, oh, no, wait, no, oh, 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 this is getting worse, oh, he's eat- well, the, li the little dude's been eaten, uh, the ceremony in, uh, the forest cannot proceed, uh, the Deku tree said bad things would happen, I guess bad things are about to happen, um, right, so what are we gonna do here? Uh, we're gonna run around a lot. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Right, say, so hang on. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Oh, hang on. Can I, like, slice these things? No. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna. Ah, okay. Aha! We can cut the things on top of its head. Um, hang on. Sorry, the one thing about the aiming. In this is that it always wants to uh, like aim downward. That is one downside of this game. Uh, like every, anytime I get the boomerang out, it sort of begins. It kind of starts at like a low angle, and then I have to start holding my gamepad upwards, which is very inconvenient and awkward. No, 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 no! Don't f gamepad. Sorry, my gamepad's also like plugged into a charger, so I can't like <laughs> I can't angle this very well. Come on, come on, let me, let me cut these things. Here we go, come on, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut, cut the thing. No, they're growing back. Ugh. Come on, let me cut them. <laughs> there we go, come on. They're like all growing back. There we go, come on. Come on. Come on! Cut it! <laughs> What's he- what- what is it? Oh, there's like two more at the back! Oh my gosh. Come on, cut. There we go. Okay, we cut them all. Um, I wish I had done the trick. Um, so I believe if I had a bottle of water here, um, if I had a bottle of water and I just poured the water on the middle, that would like end the boss fight. Which is pretty darn cool. Ah, oh, okay. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Right, okay, let's... Hang on. So I'm like holding this thing in like an awkward crab claw kind of position. Um, just because of like the awkwardness of the... The gamepad, gyro controls, great. But don't like, it's making me like face a direction that I don't want to face every time I bring the thing out. And it's like, no, 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 let me, let me, let me face upwards. I'm trying to face upwards. I'm trying to face upwards here. So let me just face upwards. Oh, look, see, that was really quick. That was really quick, that was nice. Right, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, no. It, uh. Okay. Um, so I, I like the, oh, oh, whoa, I'm down to like one health? Hang on, we need to cut some, we need to uh, cut some grass. Okay, nice. Um, okay, hang on, let me... Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Face upwards, face upwards. Face upwards, my little dude. Face upwards, dude. Face upwards. There we go. So I'm holding this gamepad in, like, such an awkward... Like, I'm doing, like, the claw to, like, control this. I'm, like, I'm like pressing the X button with my... There we go, we got it. Is that it? Is that actually it? Or is this just like phase one? That's got... Oh no, that is it. Okay, well that was easy. But yeah, if you have like a bottle of spring water or like water from the forest, um, you can just pour the water on like the middle and it like ends the boss in one go. Proper like speedrunner strats type stuff. Um, so, and I don't think there's a way to change the sensitivity of the gyro as well, which is annoying. But um, it's Makar Swordsman. Are you the one who rescued me? 
You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on the earth was over. But why are you here, swordsman? What? The great Deku Tree sent you? Oh, that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. Let's get the heart. Um, wait, that's not the right sound. It's... I don't know. Anyway, we got the heart container, so we're another heart up. We now have five. Um, but he's like, let's go, quickly. Yeah, let's let's make like a hockey player and get the puck out of here. I'm going to fill up my water bottle quick. I have two water bottles. I'm going to fill up the smaller one with the bigger one. So, but forgive me if things get loud and splashy. Um, thank you, plant dude, for creating a vortex for us to swirl out of. Um, okay. Aha, little Mecca. We got him. Oh, Mecca. You have returned safely. Ugh. Sorry. Sorry for half... Half energying that first line. There we go. Oh, there we go. Um. Like, I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but still I did not listen. Do not worry, Mecca. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Toon Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I promised you. Please accept it. Now we'll get the thing. The great Shreku tree. <laughs> Yay! We got Froz Pearl, the Earth Spirit, the Deku Tree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Faro. Um It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Maka. Do not cry. Please play your songs to me as you always do. Yes. Oh, that's right! We must begin our ceremony soon, before the day ends! I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin! Um, there we go. Oh, great Toon Link! As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. Yes, we get to enjoy some nice music. I love this uh, bit of music here. Uh, if this is the song. Yeah! Got the, some nice cello. And they're singing. Um. Um. Oh, just about like Facebook page and uh, reviews. I guess I would really kind of want that more from like a client thing. I don't really care about like reviews on Facebook as such, but I suppose if I did, I would want them more from more of like the professional side of things. I guess. I mean, I suppose it. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if, like, a fan wrote a nice review saying, oh, I really liked your performance and so on and so. I suppose that wouldn't be the end of the world, but I don't really... My Facebook page, I, it's kind of just a way for me to, like, get information out to people. Uh, unfortunately, if I had set it up two years ago, I would have had more people. It would have been more useful and been more worthwhile than when I set it up earlier this year uh, or, or at the end of last year or whenever I did. Um... But, um, but yeah, it, I, I, I honestly just kind of created it when I kind of began to see that, like, Twitter, uh, was kind of, like, like, the, when I saw the beginning of the end of Twitter, because we are kind of, like, when I set up my Facebook page, that was the beginning of the end of Twitter, and now we're kind of getting, like, we're in the end game now for Twitter, like, pretty soon, like, people are gonna just leave Twitter, or, I mean, they already have, but do you know what I mean? But, like, soon... Like, Twitter is just either going to, like, go bankrupt or, like, everyone's going to have left or whatever. So th that's kind of just why the Facebook page is there. It's not really there as, like, a, hey, hire me for my services. It's just kind of so I can, like, connect with people, let people know what I'm up to, announce my roles, stuff like that. So do you mean X? No, I mean Twitter. Twitter, Twitter.com, Twitter. It's called Twitter, Twitter. Just, just, just the heads up, Twitter. 
Twitter. That's what we should have called Link. We should have called Link Twitter. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so Great Deku Tree, this year you have once again produced some great splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea! See you all next year. Take care. Farewell, great swordsman. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. So there's a bit of a side quest that activates here where you're periodically gonna find um you're periodically gonna find little Koroks and you have to like um Hey, it's a little Makar. Let's just talk to him quickly. He's like, thank you, Toon Link, for all that you've done for me. How was my performance? Did it suit your tastes or no? I mean, I was largely talking through it, but it was great. Uh, this instrument is one of the great Deku Tree gave me the day of my birth. He said it is an instrument that people played long, long ago. It has taken many long hours of practice for me to be able to perform at the level I do now. Eight of my fellow Koroks have set out on journeys to create new forests in the world. Uh, but both Hollow, who studies the making of potions, and I are always on this island. Please come to see us here again. We'll be waiting for you. So that's what I was saying. Yeah, there are like eight Koroks who... You have to, like, deliver, um, you have to, like, deliver, um, uh, like, seeds to, um, sorry, they, they, they have all these seeds, and then they need, like, forest water, they need this special forest water, so you have to, like, get water from here in the forest, and then, whoop, there we go, is there, like, a, no. Okay. Um. Um. Hang on a sec. We need to do this. I just want to check one thing before we leave the forest. Please make sure to like and subscribe because I just finished a dungeon, didn't I? Um, okay. Hang on. Okay. Let's go this way. Um, I just want to check one thing before we go. Okay. And then we'll. And then we'll. And then we'll get out of here and do our next dungeon. Um. Sec. Ooh, that's closer than I would have liked. Um, actually, actually, can I? Hold on a sec. Let me try one thing here. Here we go. And then we just need to. We need to be very careful here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, nice. That's what I wanted to do. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, nice. I think I need more magic before I do this, but I just want to check what's like going on here. Um. Aha! Okay, I don't know if I need double magic for this or not. Which way am I facing? I'm facing northwest. Oh, this is perfect. The wind is already facing the direction that I need to go. Right, I just need the Y button. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's King Red Lions. Hey, buddy. I'll be with you in a sec, but I'm investigating. Right, we want to go over things. Oh, there's the little shadow. Hop, there we go. Nice. Let's just replenish some magic. Some magic arena. Although we didn't actually need to, we probably could have just gone on the King of Red Lions and gone around here, but, um, oh well. Oh, there's some magic. Um, you there, boy, what day is this? Did you fly down here? Um, hit that switch, oh, hang on, what switch? Hang on, what switch? Hang on, what switch? What switch? Was there a switch? Did I miss something? Oh, I missed a switch. I think that's the switch there. Okay, well, we'll have to come back here another time. Um, dang, 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 dang. Um, how high does this ladder go? Why does this ladder go up to a, a tree? I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Okay, well, I don't know if I messed up something there, but uh, let's... Go back. Oh, crud. Hang on. Oh. Let's see if we can swim over to him. Hopefully we have enough oxygen. Um. Jelly Ducky, hello! Oh, look, the post box is shaking. Michelle, hi! Um, hello, thank you. Wow, lots of people joining. Um, okay. Good evening. Letters to Toon Link. We have one. Here is your letter. 
<laughs> he spits it out at you. Very rude. Um, dear Toon Link, um, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. Um, if you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. Um, I suppose you have a long way to go before the perilous journey is done. Uh, yeah, there'll be a few more streams. Um, I have included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept the small token. I look forward to the day we can meet again. May fortune fill your wings from Kamali's father. I didn't do the voice because, to be honest, I forgot which character sends the letter. Couldn't remember if it was him or the postman. So, uh, there you go. Um, okay, let's talk to the King of Red Lions. Like, uh, so, hang on, now I'm doing the Deku Tree voice. Uh, so, this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Toon Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. Um, okay, northwest. Oh, okay, there it is. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, we, hang on, we already had the wind set to northwest because that was the direction that the, um, that the, uh, that the, uh, that the, uh, that the, uh, that the thing did. Oh, hang on, look, there's the fish. There's the fish. Oh, hang on. Do we need... Oh, sail. Sail with the A button. Hang on. Um, hang on. We'll go... We'll do the fish first. Hold on. I need to go to items, bait. I need to put bait on the Y button. There we go. Fishy, fishy. Um... Uh, let's see. So, hoy, small fry. I'm going to skip this because he always says the same stuff. <laughs> but, um... Oh, that was weird. Oh, it's doing stuff on my bottom screen. Okay, um, so there we go. Let's just see what he uh, says here. Hang on, so... Um, just a wee bit north of here on Bomb Island, uh, I've seen a merchant... Incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Now, what could he be doing on that lonely little isle? I tell you, there are some strange folk in the world, Fry. That's all the info I got. Okay, good for you. So I know I know what he's talking about. I know what mysterious backpacked man he is refer to which he is referring. But uh, but we'll save that for we'll get, we'll get there when we get there. Um, let me just I just want to see. We'll, we'll go to Beetle. Oh no 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 Beetle. Wait wait wait. Hold on. Hold on. Don't leave without me. Uh, we're gonna just buy like a bajillion. Well, actually, no. We'll see if there's like a heartbeat. No, just pairs and. Okay. Let's buy a load of bait. You now have six points, Saber. Nice. Um. I don't know how many slots we have in our bag. I suppose I should have checked, but. Right, hang on. So this will be a bit boring for a sec. Um. Just as I buy as much bait as I can. Until we fill up our little bait pouch thing. Let, let me fill it up. Oh, you don't have... Okay, well, we got 120 rupees spent, so that's not bad. Um, where did you get that paintbrush? From a strange old man in a white coat. Um, that's where I got it. Uh, right, let's set sail. Uh, to the northwest. Here we go. Um, still haven't really talked about Xenoblade 2. Well, no, I haven't, I haven't. So, anyway. So, a lot of stuff to get used to. A uh, lot of stuff to get used to, of course. Um, uh, lots of stuff to get used to. But it's interesting getting back in the swing of it. Um, and then I said the premise. Um... So I feel like, because the, the first game has a premise of, like, there were these two giant, like, robots or titans that were, like, battling one another. And they sort of battled each other to the death. And then on, like, their sort of, quote-unquote, corpses, their sort of dead bodies, uh, life uh, grew. So, like, you know, plants and animals and people and stuff. So there are basically, like, two worlds. Uh, it'd be like if there were two planets right next to one another, but instead of them being, like, round spheres, they're giant robots. Um, 
and uh, on what and the, the the sort of two main species on the robots, uh, on like the the giant robots, um, one 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 of the robots has a bunch of like regular small robots, and then the other has like people, but they're not actually called humans; they're called Homs. Um, and um, let me just very quickly hang on. I saw our fishy friend here. Um, let me just we'll just coast on over to this guy. There we go. Time it right. Um, and, um, and yeah, and then basically, um, uh, the Homs, or the humans, um, so they're sort of, like, at war with the robots. The robots kind of come over and try and invade a lot and stuff like that, I think, if I remember right. And then basically, the humans, like, have this weapon, a sword, called the Monado, which is, like, really good and effective against the robots. Uh, it's the thing that always, like, helps fight them off. But then one day, there's, like, a new kind of robot, and the robot can't be harmed by the sword. And so that kind of, I think if I've got that all right, that kind of then kicks off like all the events where the humans are like, we've got to find out what's going on and we've got to try and take the fight back because if they if they have robots that like we can't beat, then we're screwed. Um, and so you basically travel all the way up one robot, all, all the way up your like your the, the Homs human robot, and then you travel all the way down the other robot. And it's very good and it's very compelling and very interesting. Uh, very cool premise. Um, the Xenoblade Chronicles X has, like, Earth needs to be evacuated, because I think, if I remember this right, because, like, a bunch of evil aliens are coming to attack, like, there are these aliens who are, like, destroying every planet they encounter, and, like, Earth is in their trajectory, Earth is on, in, like, in the way, or, you know, on the path they're going on, um, so Earth evacuates on, like, a load of really super massive spaceships, um, and I don't think a lot of the spaceships make it, but one does break out. It's like the USS Los Angeles or something. Um, and then basically it lands on like a planet. There's like a hospitable home planet where basically this ship full of people from Earth um, kind of land and they have to uh, sort of, you know, settle in on this new planet. I think one of the things is that basically um, they're all in like robot bodies kind of thing. Um, so they need to do some stuff so that, like, all, all, like, their bodies are, like, on the ship, but they're, like, in robot bodies, kind of, like, in, like, stasis. Um, but they're, like, controlling these, like, robot bodies. Um, but then they need to do some stuff to kind of, like, wake up their human bodies so that they can actually set one on this new planet. It's very cool. And then Xenoblade 3 has this thing where it's, like, there are, like, two factions of people at war. I haven't played Xenoblade 3, but from what I can tell, it's, like, two factions of people at war, and there's a whole thing where it's, like, you kind of literally need to fight, otherwise you will die. So it's kind of like you fight to live, but you live to fight. And it's kind of... Um, and some stuff kicks off from there, from what I understand. I don't really know. Uh, but this one kind of has, like... Oh, there are, like, um, titans. It's still interesting, though. It's like there are, like, titans, which are basically kind of, like, almost, like, living islands. Like, they kind of are, like, big dinosaur islands that you live on. And they sort of seem to fly around the clouds, but, like, they're dying... And when they die, it means that, like, land mass dies with them. Because it's like you're actually living on these big living beings. Not dissimilar to the giant robots of before, in a way. Um, except but the, but the robot you're living on is alive. Uh, and it's not, a, it's not a robot. It's like a dinosaur island. Um, but these dinosaur islands are, like, dying. And, uh, and so, you, I don't know, you try and find this, like, mythical place that might make everything better. Um, but let, let, forgive me if I've summed up any of those games wrong. Like I said, it's been seven years since I played a Xenoblade game, so um, I may have so, I may have some of those plot points wrong on other games. But um, but let's see. Um, oh, what was this island called? I just missed it. Oh, oh, was this Private Oasis? Oh, the Triumph Forks. Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, the Triumph Forks. Um, Oh, this is the private oasis. Private oasis. Hang on. We want. Hang on. We do. We, we do just want to go here quickly. We do just want to touch base here very quickly. Uh, just for like a sec. Just, just quickly. Just for a sec, and then we'll carry on. Um, because we. Hang on. Da, 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 da. Let's go. There we go. There we are. Um, nice. 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 Um, I don't know if there's anything we can do here right now. 
but this island will be important later. I have a very, I'm really looking forward to this island. This is going to be a fun island to uh, talk about later. There's a very fun thing I want to share with you guys once we're there. One seagull, two seagulls, more seagulls, a bajillion seagulls. Um, but yeah, if we had our telescope, man, if we had our telescope, telescope really should be like as a shortcut, but... But yeah, when you see seagull, seagulls always mean something. In this case, it's like kind of associated with like the hurricanes and stuff. Um, but let's hang on. Let's just go talk to the butler man. Hey, butler man, don't touch me with those filthy hands. You missed yourselves, Gap. Ahem, this cabana belongs to the master. The master alone. You. Okay, well, sorry, my dude. Um, we will come back to this cabana later. Um, we will talk to this very rude man in time, I am sure. Um, oh, look, there's a little pedestal. Um, okay. Right, King of Red Lions, let's get out of here. Um, so, Nicola, hello, lovely to see you. Um, so, um, but yeah, so I, I'm sort of interested in the premise of this game. I'm not sort of like as interested in it or hooked in it as I was with like the other games and stuff but um but even so um I think it's it'll be a cool one I'm interested to see where it goes and what kind of twists and turns we have on the way and it's cool hearing all the different accents and stuff as well as we were talking about earlier lots of nice nice healthy mix of uh, accents in there um and I feel like I'm kind of noticing a bit of a pattern with some of the accents but I won't say any more than that um but um hang on a sec there we go. Sorry, my map on the gamepad was being a bit weird, um, but um, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm I'm enjoying it so far though, and yeah, I'm on like I'm at the beginning of chapter three. So the the main thing, the main th the main things I'll say about it are there's a lot going on, and the tutorials aren't really that great, and there's not like a way to like reference back the tutorials. That is like main complaint number one that I have. Main complaint number two that I have is. Um, like, it's just, like, navigation isn't very good. It's very hard to know, like, where you are and where you're going. And, like, just the maps aren't very good and stuff like that. And it's basically, like, a load of... It's kind of almost... It's not dissimilar to this game in some ways. It's ba rather than... Well, like, Xenoblade 1 was kind of, like, one slash two absolutely massive areas that you explore. Uh, like, interconnected areas that you explore um hang on a sec Whoop, there we go um uh this game this game has like sort of it seems to have like loads of little islands in a way um and you would think oh that must mean it's like sort of easier to navigate and have maps for for them all and stuff like that right and it's like no not really they've somehow just not really got the map system very good i mean let me know if you agree or not like xander uh kevin left us down to you xander um but um but like, yeah, I just it's hard to like just the maps aren't very good. Um, and it's just kinda hard and like yesterday I needed to go to Uncle Pond's house. So it was this annoying thing, right, where you're in this town and it goes, Oh, go through boundary what like boundary break or whatever it's called, or sp you know, go through this place to then blah blah blah, like head on over to boundary whatever, to da da da, and then go to like Uncle Pond's house. And it's like, oh okay. But it's like, you you don't know where, like, boundary thing is, right? That doesn't mean anything. And on the map, you can, like, on what little map there kind of is, there isn't some part of it where it says blah, blah, blah. Like, if you open up a new Pokemon, like, if you play Pokemon Red and Blue, you can look at the name of, like, every town on the map, right? Um, so if it said, like, oh, head to, or, and, like, all the major caves and stuff like that. So if you sort of said, oh, like... There's a, like, oh, there's a mi mystery near Rock Tunnel in Pokemon. Like, if you had a mission where it said, oh, near Rock Tunnel, there's some mysterious stuff going on, you'd at least vaguely know where to go. But on this, you just don't really know where it is. And it does have, like, a good marker, like a destination marker thing. Like, the destination system is, the destination marker system is pretty good. But outside of that, it's just kind of hard to navigate a bit. So, okay, Xander does agree. Okay, good. I'm not crazy. Again, I know sometimes I can miss really obvious things or whatever, but um, but this is one of those things where, like, no, I, I, I'm i pretty sure it's just not that great. <laughs> um, oh, this is, like, Six Dot Island or whatever. 
Um, so if you're enjoying this stream, please like and subscribe before I sneeze. Um, oh, they've got a shop over there on Winful Wound. A nice outdoor shop. Did you know that? I, I mean, yes, I did. Like, it's why I'm able to sail. But, um, oh, hang on. They've got a safe. <gasps> a safe. That thing's going to get hauled off by a thief. <gasps> and the thief is good. The thieving. Or the, the thief and the thieving. Um... Okay, so, sorry to not read that out. I'm a little bit congested. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I'm really congested. Um, there we go. Oh, hang on. Set sail. Get out of here. Although we actually need to change the direction of the wind, I believe, using our wind waker. There we go. Um, let's go west. Um, here we go. Oh, oh, there was a treasure there. Whoops, I missed a treasure. Oh, well. Actually, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I want to go back. I want to get that treasure. I just want to see what this little treasure is. It's probably nothing, but I want to see. Hang on. We'll use the D-pad version. There we go. Nice. Um, so, yeah. Follow me on social media. On Twitter. Twitter. I'm at Bovio. Uh, my Facebook page is Bovio, Instagram is bo.bridgeland, and then threads is bo.bridgeland. B-E-A-U dot B-R-I-D-G-L-A-N-D. -E -A -A uh, thank you, Nightbot, for reminding everyone to follow me on social media, including on Twitter. Twitter, I'm not changing it. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so the navigation, the navigation on Xenoblade 2 is a bit, like, I, like I, I had to look up how to get to Uncle Pond's house yesterday, because, because, like, I did, I didn't know. I, I didn't know like but it, it was just it was just so annoying because it would just it would be like if you didn't know um like if I said um like I, I don't know if any of you didn't really know like about countries in the world or like I know a bunch of names of countries I don't always know where they are like geographically or whatever but if I said oh yeah if you go like a bit west of South Sudan you'd if you don't know where South Sudan is that doesn't mean anything. You may have heard of South Sudan. Like, oh, you have the name of South Sudan. You may have heard of South Sudan. But, like, hang on. Why is... Why do I not... Oh, right. I I need to have my... I don't have any bait on my uh, my Y button, do I? Um, hang on. He's... This pig is being annoying. There we go, pig. Nice. Oh, there's another pig. Another pig. And he just falls down. Um... <laughs> Way to go, game. Uh, right. I was gonna get my leaf and like try and like sort of blow him away with my leaf, but um, but that's okay. Right. Hang on, I'm gonna get a spin going. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, another pig. How many pigs are there in this in this world? More pigs than a bacon factory. Right. Is it bacon factory? Is that a thing? I, I don't know. Whatever. I, I, I didn't want to say, like, a, an abattoir or anything. Um, that's a bit bleak. Um, right, okay. Right, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Nice. Right, any more pigs? Any more pigs? Any more? Any more? Okay, hey, we got a... We got a ladder. Nice. We're going to be back up to five... We're back up to 500. Wow. We are back up to 500 already. Um, okay. Um, but yeah, so th that's the thing. So if you just say, like, it, it's all fair, well, and good saying, like, oh, go to boundary whatever, or go to, like, like go a bit beyond this place. But if you don't have any way to, oh, we got another, oh, this is our fourth heart piece, which means we get a whole new heart. So that's pretty cool. We have six hearts now. Excellent. Um, he's looking up. What is he looking up at? Um, ow. Um, so yeah, it, so it's just kind of like, look, it's all fair, well, and cool, and good. Um, it's all well, you know, it, it's all cool or whatever. Um, you know, sort of saying like, oh, go, go like a bit beyond this place, and then you'll make it. But if you don't have a way to know where the reference place is, then like, what's the point? Um, so it was just, it was very hard. Like, I went all kinds of different ways. And again, you are you are told like which general direction it is. There is like a 
sort of a destination system where it's like, oh, you are like a thousand units of distance away from your location and it's in this direction, right? So, you, so you'll know that it's like, oh, it's north and it's like 1,000 away. And then if you go north for a while, it's like, no, oh, now I'm only 900 away. Oh, and now I'm only this many away and stuff like that, right? Like, that's cool. But, oh, I hate these big fish things. Uh, they're very scary. Um, hang on a sec. Let's lay down some bait. Get this island going. Unless I've already been to this island and I've just used bait again. Um, but, uh, but let's get some fishy... Oh, oh, that's weird. Oh, man, that's so weird. The way that he freezes like that, that's very weird. Um, these islands are pretty standard, so I think this is why he gives more, like, generic tips on, like, these, like, more generic islands. Uh, rings of light. Treasure. This is all stuff that we've, uh, but the special ones that shine like tree crazy, and they only shine when you have a treasure chart. Oh, actually, hang on. We need to open some treasure charts, don't we? Uh, or we might... We ha I think we have some treasure charts that we need to open. So hang on, let me... Ow, 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 ow. Set sail, set sail. Get out of here, get out of here. Um, hang on. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on. Um, chat, I want to go north. See this little thing here? See that little island in the distance? We want to go... We want to go uh, north, okay? Hang on, I'm just gonna open. I'm just gonna check my maps and stuff. Okay. I probably should just change the direction of the wind, shouldn't I? Um. But I don't want to do that. We. I want to just go north slowly. Um. Okay. So. Um. So actually, chat. Um. For those of you in chat, sorry, I, I've, I've been very distracted and stuff. But have you have you guys played any Xenoblade games? And if so, which ones have you played? Uh, so have you played any Xenoblade games? If so, which ones? And then let me know uh, which ones are like your favorites as well. So like I have played, I've played Xenoblade One and I've played Xenoblade X, and then now I am playing. Xenoblade 2. So like I've I've completed those first the, those uh, like you know those first two games I mentioned, but then and then now I'm playing Xenoblade 2 and I'm doing that so I can play Xenoblade 3 and I will have to probably get the DLC at some point between now and like Christmas or whenever. Um, but let's. So Xander's played one, two, and three. So you haven't played X. Ooh, that's interesting. X, X is really cool, and, I, and like I've said before, I really hope that they put it on like the Switch's successor. I think Xenoblade Chronicles X would be a really strong game to have on the Switch's successor, because it'd be like a sort of, you know, like a fairly relatively easy, straightforward port, right? Um, but, but then it, it means you don't have to develop, like, put like five years of work into it or whatever. Um, it was so good, it had such a good story. Um, and it was sort of different from the other ones, but but still, you know, very similar as well. Um, Xenoblade X. Do you mean Xenoblade Twitter, Aubrey asks? Yes, I do. Sorry, sorry, Aubrey. Yes. Xenoblade Chronicles Twitter, yes. Um, but yeah, never owned a Wii U. No. And here's the thing as well. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, like, it was too much for the Wii U, so it would probably be too much for the Switch. They actually had, like, a load of uh, free updates that you could download. Uh, to help make the game run smoother and stuff like that. Like, it didn't run bad. I don't think it really run ran that badly. But but there were things where... There were some things where it was a bit laggy or whatever. Um, and but and there were, like, all these downloads you could have to make the game run more smoothly. But they were, like, 10 gigs of, de like, data or something like that, apparently. Um, so that's why I'm like, let's hold it off for, like, a Switch successor. Because a Switch successor is going to have more hardware. They'll know how to, like, port the game to that more easily than they would to, like, the Switch. Um, so that's kind of my kind of thing. Um, but, um, but, oh, whoops, I'm nearly crushing my mouse with my water bowl. Um, but yeah, um, and three is your favorite. I think three is going to end up being my favorite. Like three or X, I think are going to end up being my favorites. X is my favorite so far. Um, I like number one a lot. 
I, I do suspect that this Xenoblade will be my least favorite, which I don't like saying that going into it, but I just have a feeling, just based on sort of reviews I'd seen of the game and stuff like that, and kind of like my early impressions or whatever. But, I'm you know, I'll, I'll happily be wrong. I'll happily be wrong if it turns out to be amazing. The problem is as well, because it's been like seven years since I've played the first two, I kind of can't really compare this one to the, them that much because I just can't really remember a whole lot about those experiences, unfortunately. So, um, but, um, but yeah, but even if, but the reason I say about like the Xeno, uh, Xenoblade X or Xenoblade Twitter and the, uh, the, the, the downloads they had is that say if you did get a Wii U, right? Say if I like, I finished this streaming series and then I, I gave Xander my Wii U and I'm like, there you go. And then you found a copy of Xenoblade Chronicles X, right? Like secondhand. Um, you would like not be able to download those updates because the Wii U eShop is shut down. So they do need to that and physical copies of that game are probably going to get really expensive now. So that's why I hope they do port it at some point soon because there are going to be people who will be like, "Oh, I want to play that," you know. And um yeah. So um So yeah, RIP eShop, I agree. Um so uh, let me tell you something about the, this island. So I wanted to go to this island because this is Tingle Island, the home of Tingle, um, the guy who we met last time. Um, but he can decipher maps like it's nobody's business. Um, but, um, but you have to pay like a high deciphering fee. So if you don't have a deep wallet, you won't be reading any maps. And that's all the info he's got to offer. But yeah, I did just want to go here quickly to Tingle Island because I wanted to... Uh, we will just very quickly set sail. Hang on. Ooh. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Let me get to the island. Let me reach it. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay. This will be an important island later. I don't know how important, because from what I understand, this game uh, may have changed a few things up a bit. Ooh. Uh, this particular version of the game. Oh, a blue chew. Hang on. We want to... Aha! We got a chew! Uh, so there we go. We now have, like, every color of chew jelly. Um, there we go. Nice! Um, there we go. Yellow rupee. Very nice. Um, I forgot there was a blue chew on this island. I remember that now. Um, Yeah, I'm just sort of seeing people in the chat talk about social media and, like, having accounts and stuff like that. And Oh, look, look at these poor other tingles. There's, like, a white tingle and a pink tingle. Oh, this is heavy. This is just between you and me. But this guy has another brother. And if that guy could come and spin this thing instead of me... Yeah. You're not talking about this guy, eh? Um, you have a tingle bottle, do you not? If you're really not a fan of it, do not worry about something you think. The Tingle Bottle, it's sort of complicated, I suppose. Do not go out of your way. No, really. I mean, it's quite amusing. Tingle Bottle, I mean, but no, not really. Would not expect you to heave hope. Okay, don't know what that's about. Tingle, buddy, how you doing? Oh, Mr. Fairy. Yeah, how, how did I, oh no, did I do Lewis' voice for him? Like, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? Oh, I'll do it English, I don't know. What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. Next time. Bring me, oh, no, the Doofen <laughs> So, Like, bring me chart. Parry the chart. Um, but yes, uh, but yes. Okay, so if we have charts that need deciphering, he is the man to decipher them. Oh, yeah. But anyway, Bark, um, we're now going to go back west. <laughs> Fairy the platypus. Um, there we go. That, that's the joke. That's the joke I was, uh, I think that I was kind of working towards. That was workshopping towards. Uh, right, okay. Um, hang on, let me go back to the map. Let me set sail. Here we go. Um, okay. Oh, hang on. There is a little treasure there. Although it might be pointless with our filled up wallet, but. Let's see if we can get this treasure. Unfortunately, there's no... Hang on. Here we go. We'll use grappling hook. There we go. Nice. Um... Fairy godparents! Um, but yes. Okay. Um, so I've been very boring today. I've been very boring today. Um, 
But no, um, no. So just seeing about social media, it is a really frustrating and annoying system because it's like I've been on Twitter for like you know over a decade or whatever. Um, yeah, over a decade, um, and um, and you know I really liked it and and sort of my. The way I use Twitter has, like, evolved over time. Originally, it was just a way for me to be able to sort of kind of snoop on celebrities and, uh, and you know, sort of voice actors I liked and stuff like that. You know, sort of learn about the life of a voice actor, what voice actors got to day to day, what kind of things they were into, what they liked and stuff. And then, you know, as I sort of uh, got more connected with people and more integrated into this business... Um, oh, whoa, look, there's a... This is the island we're meant to go to. There is a dark, there is a dark, dark cloud over this island. Um, but this is, yep, nope. This is where we're meant to be. Uh, hang on, this, I'm this, this shark is annoying me. Get out of the way, shark. Okay, there we go. Um, and it's raining. Link, hey, Toon Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Oh, great! F this is this Great Fish Isle, but um, no sign of a dungeon here. Uh, what's the meaning of this? The island is this. We are too late. Oh, I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Hoi! Hoi! It's the Rito Postman, who sounds exactly like King of Great Lions. Um, Red Lions. Um, so. Ah, so you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jaboon? I'm sorry to report that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow and the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. No! Uh -huh. ah! Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in? I must apologize, Toon Link. I thought if anyone would be able to, uh, would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to, but if that is your decision, I've told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. So yeah, nothing, nothing too much going on on this island. Um, I think we can maybe accomplish more later. Um, once we have other items and stuff, we might be able to accomplish some stuff. Because look, you can see there's a little like, little entrance there. Uh, but let's talk to the King of Red Lions. So, Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the pirates of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we first go to Windfall and search for them there? Uh, yes indeedy. Let's do that. Um, so, hang on a sec. I am just going to go to Beedle very quickly. We can see Beedle... Uh, here. Do I have this island? I, I think I do have... Oh, no, I, no, I don't seem to have... The... Okay, so we do need to talk to the fish as well. Even though we just found out what this island is called and blah, 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 blah. Um, we do need to... Oh, he's got a bottle! 
Hey, that's pretty cool. A red... Oh, it's a red potion. So I don't get the bottle. I just have the potion. Uh, I don't really want that. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. Okay, let's uh, talk to the fish. And then we'll get out of here, because like the postman said, we don't really want to hang around here for too long. Oh, there he is. Hang on. Set sail. Here we go. Hang on. We'll just coast a bit here. Until we're close enough. Here we go. There we go. Nice. Um, Ileana, hi. Welcome back. Um, don't worry. I'm just being very boring today. Um, okay. So we're going to open up the sea chart. And, uh, but no, sorry, I was going to say, the social media situation is just very annoying, because I had Twitter for a long time, the way that I've used it has kind of evolved and changed, but it's become this really useful tool for me now to connect with people. You know, like two years ago, I had this big influx of followers and stuff, and obviously that kind of died down, but then they started, like, changing the algorithm, and Elon bought it, and people started to leave, and then other people started to leave, and... My Twitter has kind of been largely stagnant for a long time now. It's why I'm very surprised when... It's so weird when I actually do get a tweet that, like, kind of does do the numbers now. It kind of... Every so often, like, it'll kind of happen. Uh, I've had a few recently. Even my one the other day when I, I I posted... I just put, like, no! When, like, my icon had changed from, like, the bird to the X. Um, I just tweeted that, and that got, like, hundreds and hundreds of likes. I don't really know why. <laughs> but, um... But that sort of resonated with people or whatever, but... You know, but it's just sad, because I, I kind of was, like, really connected to people. I would, like, post fit pictures of things about my life or, or role announcements or whatever. And people would be excited, and I'd get to talk to people a lot and stuff. And now I just don't really get many messages or much connection or much reaction. It, it's like I'm kind of putting my stuff out there, but it's like there's, like, a barrier now between me and everyone else. And it's why I like streaming, because I do get this, like, you know, more immediate connection with you guys and stuff like that. Um... You know, sort of in, in the in the absence of Twitter doing it for me, at least, like, a, a YouTube chat box kind of, like, does something. Um, so, yeah, but um, it's just a bit, like, you know, it's just really sad and annoying. And I just wish that, I wish I could have begun streaming whilst I was at the, twi the, the peak of Twitter being, not having that barrier. Um, when, you know, like, when all those followers did begin to follow me. Uh, and when they were paying attention to what I was saying and when I could just tweet something like really normal and it would get like hundreds of likes instead of like maybe a few dozen. Um, you know, because then my YouTube channel could have been way bigger and then I wouldn't have had to worry so much about, you know, things right now. But anyway, you should come to these parts of nights when a wee bit of the left half of the moon is missing. A wee bit. That's when it appears, Fry. And that's all the info I got. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Small Fry Man. Thank you. I'm going to call you Small Fry. That's that's your name from now on. Um, okay, so where do we want to go? We want to go to Windfall Island, don't we? Windfall is northeast of here. Um, hang on a sec. Um, oh, we were going to go through Tingle Island anyway. Oh, well. Uh, right, let's get the Wind Waker out. Um... And we'll go northeast, and then we'll go back to Windfall Island. Oh, hang on, there we go. Yes. Nice. Um, so. Hang on, Shibertooth. Some other people might have had the same problem as me, too. Your account being blocked for no reason. Well, oh, hang on, was this, like, recently, or just, like, in, in the past? Because I had a friend... Um, I've, there are some people who got, like, basically, I had one friend get blocked recently. I'll tell that story, to, like, I'll wait for your answer first, but then I'll tell this story of my friend who got blocked. Um, and he got blocked, like, very um, unfairly. Also, I like the music right now. There's, like, a sort of, like, it's, like, an, it's, like, in minor key or something, but it's, like, um... But it's basically like the, set, the regular music, but kind of like sadder. Um, Aubrey, thank you so much. I hope you're able to watch the rest of the stream on catch up. But thank you so much for joining live. Take care. Bye bye. Um, yeah, nay ain't okay. The overwhelming precedence of algorithms in social media is really annoying because they're rarely accurate and they're so biased against small creators. Exactly. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Why I love Twitter, right? This is why I loved Twitter in the past. Um, 
you followed people, right? And then you would receive everything on your timeline, on your feed, from people who you follow in chronological order. That was how Twitter worked. You could share other people's posts. If someone put something that you really liked, that you thought was funny or clever or witty or insightful or anything or important, you could share that. And, um, hang on, I'm actually just going to change my items. We don't need any bait for a while, so I'm going to change back to the leaf. Um, so, um, yeah, so there's this, it's just this, like, annoying thing where, um, so I, I loved that about Twitter. I thought that was perfect. It's like, oh, cool. Like, I actually get the content that I want to get. You know, like, if I want to, I follow, I follow a person, I see what they post. That's it. Like, I loved that. I thought that was, that just makes sense to me. Um, and I loved that. And I loved that, yeah, like, you know, and it was like, ah, but how do you, like, yeah, but how do you know other people who you want to follow? And it's like, well, you can have, like, recommended, like, oh, here's, here, here are people who you could follow based on, like, similar interests, similar mutuals, right? That's one way. But you had retweets. Retweets are a really good way. Like, if you kept seeing retweets from, like, the same person again and again and again, then you could be like, oh, that person's really funny. I'm going to follow them, right? And I thought that was, like, a perfect system. And then Twitter, like, kind of implemented the, like, for you option, and then that really was when I noticed, like, like the the sort of the takeoff of for you was when I noticed that my activity just went way down, because it was like, because because then my content doesn't like get shown to people and stuff, and like other people's gets put on top, and it was like, gee, thanks Twitter, like thanks for that. And then um and and it's just like, and it's kind of like, look, if I wanted like an algorithm to like guess content and just arbitrarily give me content. That's what Facebook's for, you know? And I swear when I joined Instagram, I used to kind of get everything, like, in order as well. And then that started to be a bit more arbitrarily selected. I don't know if that was just maybe, like, the difference between, oh, when you first join Instagram versus, um, you know, like, oh, first joining Instagram versus, like, once you've followed a bunch of accounts. But, um, but yeah, but that's still, that's still really annoying. Um... Also, this rain, like, it's been raining for a while. It's like rain and it's nighttime. Like, what is going on? Um, okay, put away. Um, ooh, look, there's like an invisible treasure chest. Ooh, very... Ah, uh, the pirates, the pirates. Um, Hang on a sec. Um, Cappy Draw. The music has a vibe of S word. We're too late. Yes, it's, yeah, it's really good. It's really good, isn't it? It's kind of like, oh, crud, bad stuff's happening and it, like it's already begun. Like it's already, yeah, and we've missed it, you know. Um, so, okay. Um, Oh, so Shibertooth, so you got blocked for, like, promoting streams and, 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 and like, and, oh, that sucks. And Teresa as well. That really sucks. So, um, I don't know, you know, the extent to which this is true or whatever, but I'm, I kind of would believe it and whatever. But Luis Bermudez, who is Ranzo on Beyblade, like, summoning Lexi, um, Beyblade Burst uh, Quad Drive and Bey Bey Beyblade Burst Quad Strike. Uh, Ranzo Kiyama, um... Ranzo, real life Ranzo, um, he got blocked from like Twitter recently, and he just put like a he had a tweet of just the sort of the sewing thread that everyone has been using for threads as like a code name for threads, like the emoji of like a sewing thread. Um, uh, he just posted a tweet with like just that, and uh, and he got blocked and he suspects it was because of that which is kind of crazy that that's why for a while i like haven't been using that sig that symbol and why i've just been saying like the other place or like oh hey if you want to like hear more from me elsewhere and then I'll, ha I'll have like a screenshot of like my threads account but like i won't say threads and i won't use that emoji um so uh, <laughs> i like how everyone's trying to like summon lexi now oh and then there, there is lexi um so yes uh, so there we go. Um, but there we go. So, it is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. 
I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jabun's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Toonlink, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to, without them finding out about you. Okay. So, the pirates. Um, so we are back on Windfall Island. Already! Um, and we got to find out what's going on with these pirates. So we need to head back to the pirate ship. Hang on, let's just check this. Can, can we read this gravestone? Ah, oh, there's nothing. Okay, uh, so let's head to... Oh, whoop. Aha! Um, who cleans pirates' ears? Oh, you guys can't. Oh, no, wait, you can see. Uh, well, I was going to put Jimmy, but let's put GG. GG. No, that's complete wrong. Now, scram, non pirate. Um, well, actually, no, isn't. Hang on. Who cleans pirates' ears? Isn't this just like. No, hang on. Eh. Like. Swabby. Something like that. Okay, well, never mind. Um. Okay, we can't seem to make use of the pirate ship. No no worries. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Go this way, go this way. Um, hang on, let's just see. Hang on, I just want to see what he says. If Does he just say the, go see what the pirates are doing and come back as quick as you can? Okay. Um, I, like, I do know what to do here, but I'm just like, does the game nudge you towards what to do? Or I, I kind of want to, hang on. I'm just going to check the post box here. Good evening. Uh, we have one letter. Ah, spits a letter at me. Um, does anyone in chat know how to deal with a sprained ankle? Ooh. Um, uh, I think... Is sprained ankles like ice pack in elevation? Or is it like heat? I think it's sprained ankle... I, I feel like sprained ankle is ice, right? Like you want to get something cold on it. And you may also want to elevate it as well. But, um, oh yeah, nay ain't okay. Keep weight off it, ice it indirectly like an ice pack wrapped in a towel. Yeah, don't, don't just put like ice right on it. Otherwise you'll get like an ice bun. Um, oh, Kramen says ice and elevation. Um, so yeah, if you get like an ice pack and then you like say wrap it in a towel and then kind of say like put your foot up on like a, a stool or something like that or a chair and then kind of like, um, and then kind of have the ice pack kind of on your leg on the chair or something like that. Does that sound like a good plan, chat? Like a good collaborative plan? Um, when, and when we say elevate it, we just kind of mean like lift. Make sure your leg is kind of lifting upwards so then like blood doesn't flow to it as much or as easily or something like that, right? Is that the idea? Um, if you wish to be a true swordsman and find some knight's crests and return to me. Orca. Oh, okay. Um... So Orca, the man who taught us sword stuff, he's like, bring me knight's crests. Um, hang on, I want to just check some stuff here. We'll check some stuff here. Um, and then, um, hang on. Dear me, but there's a terrible storm raging this evening. The night seems very unsettled somehow. Um... Dang, I was hoping that the thing that goes on would... So I don't think anyone is going to... Is, like, behaving... Nor like, th with this storm going on, I don't think anyone is, like, behaving normally right now. Uh, sort of quote-unquote. Um, I was hoping we maybe would find someone to bump into or, or talk to or whatever. But uh, but still, we'll, we'll just... It, come on, come on. Um, so, so I do know where to go here. Hang on, let's just see... We're closed today, so scram, now. Um, I just, uh, so I know where to go, but I just want, I, I just am like, yeah, but I want the game, how does the game let me know where to go? Do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you're like, wait, what do you, what do you do for the game to tell you where to go? Um, maybe this is, like, the only place you can go. But if you remember last time, we snuck round behind here. Um... Like, which character tells you that you need to go here? That is my question. 
Because this is where we need to go, I'm pretty sure. We go in here, okay. If you remember, we snuck in here last time. Um, hang on a sec. So, look, we're going to sneak, 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 sneak. We have to be very quiet, okay? <gasps> the pirates, they're stealing all the bombs! Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely go have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as a paycheck for the nasty little monopoly we've been running here, yeah? So I bet, you th bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to us pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. They've gagged him as well. And gag him as well! Um, you know, Gonzo, I still can't get over the bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that Toon Link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that... Oh, oh no, wait, hang on, this is Gonzo, I think. So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kitten stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. And then Kaylee Mills came around and collected those beans. Um, but yes. Um, but yeah, no. I, I do quite like this, that the postman was kind of like, oh, the pirates, the pirates knew Link. But then, like, he kind of blabs to them and says too much to them. And then he's like, crud, I told the pirates too much. And now they're going to steal stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, if you're talking about what a great show Beyblade is, it's a fantastic show. Uh, it's such a good show. Um even if you only watch like seasons three to seven, which are like the what the English vo the the sort of the U.S. voiced ones instead of Canadian voiced ones, um, but uh, yes, um, okay. So, but and, and then I was in season six, but um, but but that's thing. You'll find a lot of Genshin people are in the show, the show. So a lot of people you really like, like Erica and Laura Stahl and. Um, and I'm uh, like Mark Witten and Christina V and uh, I, I and Koi and and myself. Um, and I, I did like a whole tweet about it a while ago. Jen Lucy's been in there, like just lots and lo lots and lots of lovely people. Um, like good work, Gonzo. Really, just top notch. It's funny though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts. If you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. Uh, you, you idiot. Uh, keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be stupid. <laughs> uh, Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? It's Tetra. Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. Uh, what, miss? We have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and, and, and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, I, I mean I'm, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss. It is, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be it'd be awful hard on them to, to, to leave so soon without a proper layover. So, what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? So, I, I'll cry to press the button. I'm, I'm choking because I really need to have a drink. Ugh. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? <coughs> oh, sorry, choke him. I need to have a drink. Ah, <sighs> uh, you're you're all fools. Do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw that the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but. By the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. <laughs> ah, she saw it. She saw us. All right. 
fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, aye. Say there, brother. What was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? Oh, you're so useless with that posh voice of yours. Today's password is Swabbies. Yeah? Oh, I was so close! Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it. So I'll say it once more. If this game comes to Nintendo Switch, this is the point at which you take a screenshot, alright? Today's password is, get ready with that screenshot switch people, Swabbies, yeah? Oh, Yeah, Kimlin's really lovely and so good as the role, as Volt as well. Volt is so good. Um, so, um... Yeah, Karen, um, Karen's like in it this season and stuff. Really cool. Swabby, they. Right, swabby, swabby, swabbies. Okay. So yeah, chat, if any of you know this game really well, like if you know, what, what do they do to like indicate that you need to come in here to this shop? Because I mean, yeah, it, like it's just everywhere is like shot or whatever, but I don't like... I know that you have to go in here, but I'm like, how did I know as a kid that I had to come in here, you know? Like, how did I know that I had to come in here? Um, very confused. Right, anyway, let's- this guy was kind of rude to us last time and trying to sell us stuff for, like, an extortionate price. Uh, and we can't save him either, so I guess, um... So I guess we can't help him. Um... Right, we're going to... Uh, we're going to Ibiza. No, we're not really. Um, where is that pirate ship? Wait, where is it? I thought it was... Oh, maybe it's like around the corner or something? Where is it? Where'd the pirate ship go? The pirate ship! Yeah! Okay, um... Oh, Miami to Ibiza. Do, 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 do. I think that's what you're talking about, Andrew, if I'm correct. Um, like, oh, we're going to Ibiza. No, or actually, no. Oh, no, wait, actually, no, that might be, no. I don't know. That might be a different song now that I think about it. Might be thinking of a different song. Um, okay. Well, anyway, Bark. Um, let's go this way. Well. Right, who cleans pirates' ears? Swabbies. Again, like I said, on the GameCube version, there was, like, the capital letters screen and then the small letters screen. Uh, so where I would, like, call myself, BOO! And I think I did. I think I, like, did get this wrong at first until I realized about, like, the small letters and stuff like that. So, um... But... I can be wrong, but I think they mentioned the pirates. Well, the King of Red Lions... I mean, obviously, we've all been, like, talking about the pirates. I do just want to um, say, you know... Um, like, you know... Like, this is, they sort of mentioned the pirates. Like, oh, the pirates are here in the island. Go find the pirates. But, it did, but like, just someone somewhere must say, like... Oh, I think I saw the pirates at the bomb shop, right? Like, someone must have said that, right? Because, um, again, like... I mean, it is a bit one of those things where it's like, oh, this building is like the only place, like the building is the only place you can go to, but oh, we're going to sneak into Tetra's bedroom. Ha 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 ha, look at this. Um, oh, well, look, she's got a picture of like the ancient hero on her wall. Do you remember that from the uh, introductory story last week? Huh, pretty nifty. Um, and then she's got like, oh, she's got like a Bermuda Triangle-esque map here. Um, and then she's got like a globe, a very not spherical globe. And then she's got like a flower light. Um, 
a picture frame with no picture in it. So that's also interesting as well. Huh, interesting stuff. Okay, um, but no time for diddle diddly daddling. <gasps> Nico. Oh, Toon Link. My old swabby Toon Link. So, you're alive. All the other pirates said you'd got done in by that bird in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought, never mind. Uh, never mind what I thought. You're alive! I'm not reading this out loud very well, so... Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to be in the bottom rung of the on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating, eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright. Why don't we send you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, Swabby. You see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room? A l right? Lanterns? Right? Lantern right? Um, well, last time you pressed the switch, platforms ro rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. Sorry, I'm like really congested. Um, and that's not all. This time I put a gate on this door too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. Oh, maybe that means there wasn't a time limit last time. I don't know. Um, Teresa, you have to go. Thank you so much. Hope you're able to watch the rest. Bye. Um, so, okay. Um, okay. Um, well, cause, no, but I did go to the front door. I mean, I went to the front door and, you know, it was like, like, go, go away or whatever. But that wouldn't really be like, oh, I better find a back passage. Um, so I did that too, but like... But again, like, I also went to that other shop and it was like, oh, we're close, you know, or, or, well, actually, no, I was able to go in that shop, I, I suppose, but, um, but yeah, anyway, so, I don't know, like, was there something more than just going to the front door and being told to, like, go away? Because that, you know, I don't know. Um, again, I know to go in the bomb shop, so, like, it's fine, but, um, one, hang on, two... And then we'll do three. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, am I gonna, am I like tall enough to make this or? Oh yes, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, well that was, that was nifty. That was very convenient. I don't, I'm not sure if you're quite supposed to shortcut. No, oh, I didn't get enough momentum. Okay, we'll, we'll reset this and try again. Um, sorry. I do apologize, very congested. Um, right, okay. Whoop. Right, let's... Hang on, we're gonna step on this button. There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Oh, I looked at chat <laughs> right at that moment. Um. Yeah, don't get too heated about, um characters in fiction and stuff Lexi like it, it's cool to be like passionate about stuff but it's just like don't don't let it get to you because um, there are there are other things in the world uh, there are other things in the world and it's like I, I know it's annoying when like a you know it is annoying when like a character you love um, kind of gets done dirty a bit or whatever um, you know I, I mean again I'm I'm like fans of you know there are like a couple of things I'm like a fan of um oh okay hang on that was good that was good um you know like th there are things like like fam family guy is an example where i haven't watched family guy in five years just because of my sort of moving to america so i haven't been able to watch anything new but like brian griffin for example is a character who like brian was like my favorite character and you know he's like changed so much and is kind of like quite unlikable now and it's annoying but it's like, well, those old episodes all still exist and stuff. You know, I can still, like, go and enjoy those old episodes and whatnot. 
Um, they're still there. Like, yes, he's, like, not great now, but th there's still, like, a time where he was good, and I can still, like, enjoy that. So that's just my kind of philosophy on it or whatever. Um, so... Um, what? You've got to be... You did it already? Ah, oh, you're... You're incredible! Ah, oh, this isn't good. I never even... I've never even passed this test. How can he do it so quickly? I make it look so easy! And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure... Oh, I'll be so busted. Okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so... I guess I'll give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay? Okay! Thank you, my Nico swabby dude. Let's get, let's get the bombs. Um. Okay. Um. So, okay. Uh, let's see. Just check in chat quickly whilst we are pressing our bombs. Oh, we need to set bombs to... That's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. Oh yeah, we still have this thing. Um, I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now. The only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs, anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure, too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you're born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You'd better be quick, kid. Um, okay, cool, nice. Um, so let's, hang on. Uh, let's go to our items. Let's get the boomerang on Y, bombs on X. I don't think, mm, I don't think we need the leaf as much, I would say. That would be my guess. Uh, if we do need the leaf, I can set it to R, but I'd rather have the grappling hook there for now. Um, okay. Um, oh, wait, hang on, this is Tetra's room. Sorry, Tetra. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm not a weirdo. Um, I'm not a weirdo. I'm just bad with directions. Um, okay. Please remember to like and subscribe the video for more con for more for more comments. Like I'm not a weirdo. I'm just bad with directions. Um, okay. Let's climb up here quickly. Um, oh my neck. Oh my neck. Okay. Um, right, okay. So, yeah, so I know, I know that, like, you know, you knock on the door, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still not 100% sure how you're supposed to fully know without, you know, without any issue that it's like, oh, hey, the pirates are at the bomb shop. Go, go, you know, go, 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 you know, get those pirates, um, and their bombs. Okay, so, um... So now that we have bombs, we can... Uh, let's go find the King of Red Lions. Um, oh, yeah, hang on. Do we have, like, bait and stuff? We have enough. Oh, okay, we're missing... We're missing, like, a couple of bait slots. So hang on, let's see if... Um, I'll go to. I'll go check the post box in a sec. Hang on. Hang on. We're just. I'm just going to buy some bait quickly. And then... Um... Oh! Okay, cool. Oh, we can sell stuff to him as well. I don't think... In these games, like, you never really need to, like, sell anything, you know? It's just a funny old thing. Um, 
Right, let's get some more bait. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's weird. My my bottom screen hasn't like updated. Okay. Yep. No. We we do not have space. Let's hang on. There we go. Okay, it's filled up now. Nice, 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 nice. Um, okay, back we go. And then um, let me just uh, go back to the map. There we go on the touch screen. Okay, and here we go. Um, Notebot shill in the book. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, we got the two book posts again. But yeah, I wrote a book for those who don't know. I'm very proud of it. And um, very proud of it. And, uh, oh. Hang on, we'll talk to the King of Red Lions in a sec. I do just want to get this post. There's more post. So let's get some post. Good evening. One letter for Toon Link. Here you go. <laughs> um, there we go. Notice some beetle shop ship. Um, it's time for our semi-annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new product that's burst onto the scene. Bombs. We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the enclosed beetle shop ship chart. Uh, visit a beetle shop ship near you today. Often not available in all regions. Uh, don't miss this huge opportunity from beetle. Thank you. Um, okay, cool. We'll open the ting this map, this beetle chart. Uh, you cannot see it on the screen at all, but um, but, but there, there's a beetle. There's a list of beetle ships on my gamepad right now. Um, I'm just going to check all my maps. Okay. Uh, just to see which ones I need to open and which ones I don't. Um, okay. Nice. Uh, so, right. Let's talk to our friend, the King of Red Lions, and make like hockey players and get the puck out of here. So, well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay. Let us delay no longer, to Link. Um, okay, so we need to. Hang on, Outset Island is. Okay, so it's south and west of here. So if we go south a bunch and then go west, that probably makes sense. So let's change the. The wind, to the south. Yeah, I don't like how you can't just press the direction on the joystick that you want to go in. Why I have to like go around like that, but oh well. Um, okay, let's go. Um, I'm going to have a cookie whilst we sail as well. Um, I know that there's a little bit of treasure there. I don't care. Um, mm. These cookies are so good. Um, but, um, oh. Again, I know this saga's been going on a few weeks, but I'm so happy I found this cookie recipe, guys. It's pretty amazing. Um, oh, hurricanes. Gotta be careful of them. Um, I'm one-handedly controlling. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, ah. Get out of the way, octopus. Get out of the way, other octopus or squid, whatever you are. Ah. The fish. The fish. The fish. Hang on. We gotta get some bait on our Y button. Wait, where did the fish go? 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 Oh, there he is. Fish. Ah. Ah. Fish. 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 There we go. Okay. Phew. I think I know what island this is, actually, now that I remember. Hi. Okay. Ah. Cookies. 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 Speaking of cookies, it was Kuki Shinobu's birthday this week. That was pretty cool. Congratulations to anyone who kind of is old enough to remember my reference that basically how Kingler sounded in the old episodes in the anime. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then Yan phase was like today, I believe. And then was it like Klee's birthday as well? A lot of birthdays, a lot of July birthdays. 
Okay. The school. To oh, the school on Winfrew Island has a gorgeous teacher. But the thing is, this gang of four ragamuffin hoodlums was always causing trouble. And the little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hide behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. 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 Barely even human. Um, somebody's got to scold those, I mean, wheels. Wheels on the bus. Um, somebody's got to scold those scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of that poor teacher. You hear me, Fry? Okay. Um, my name's not Fry, it's Bender. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, if you want to hear it again, throw down more bait. Can't go fighting on an evil stomach. And with that, he's off. He's off. Um, okay. Set sail. Here we go. So we are heading south. We're going south of the border down Mexico way. I mean, we're going wheels on the bus, wheels Mexico Bay. Um, okay. Okay. Um, Amber and Mika's birthdays are coming up. It's just, it's never ending. Um, and we, the thing is funny, we talked about that last week, didn't we? Where we sort of said about how, like, wow, their birthday is today. What are the odds? It's like one in 365. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, um, or, or if you said something like, wow, like, hang on a sec, well, like, wow, your birthday is in the same month as mine. What are the odds of that? It's like, well, however many days there are in your month out of 365. Like, so if you're like, my birthday's in January. If you're a January person too, it's a 31 out of 365 chance. Like, <laughs> you know, like that, that's, <laughs> those are the odds. <laughs> it's pr pretty boring. Um, but I just, but I find it funny. I just, because sometimes when you're like, wow, what are the odds? Like, we always say it about things that are kind of like, very, you know, like, oh my gosh, what was the odds of, like, that thing landing on its side, or, like, landing in that, you know, like, or what was the odds of that coin, like, landing on its side, or something like that, you know, um, uh, you know, like, what are the odds of that weird thing happening, and it's like, um, did we already, was this the one we already, I feel like this submarine might be one that we already did, because we have already been to this island, so this might be, where we got our water bottle earlier. Our water bottle, as my brother would like to say. Um, hang on. Uh, let me get my telescope. Telescope. Yep, this is where we got the water bottle. Okay. Then let's get out of here. Um. Oh, is Bennett's birthday the uh, 29th of uh, February? Oh, that's interesting. If it, Interesting if true. Um, that's very funny. Um, okay. Uh, right. Let's keep going south. Let's put our map back so we can actually see where we are and where we're going. Um, oh yeah, I said about Good Vibes Gaming and how they did a really interesting retrospective on uh, a bunch of the early 3D Zelda games, or sort of around the time of the early 3D Zelda games. Um, really good video. I've, I've mentioned their channel before, like Daniel, who's one of the people there, uh, Daniel Alba, Evernight Studio. Um, he's like one of the Good Vibes Gaming guys, um, and he's been in chat a couple of times, if you remember him. Um, he... Um, but uh, yeah, Good Vibes Gaming. They do a lot of really good videos, a lot of really great content. And um, oh, hang on. This is a place that we need to go later. So I don't really need to be doing this right here, right now. But um, but apparently I am. That's the kind of masochist I am. Um, can these big fishy things stop trying to kill me? Ow, 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 ow. I just want to talk to my fish friend. There we go. Um... So, um, but yes, he, um, but yeah, Good Vibes Gaming, they did this really good retrospective and they sort of 
they talked about this game and they talked about how they sort of wanted to do it on the ocean and stuff like that. Um, but the thing is, because of like technology and stuff like that, they couldn't have like say every square in this map be a massive island. Um, and that the more prominent islands that you go to, they had to spread them out like really carefully. Um, oh, a famed photographer lives far north on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of photography or pictography. Um, he's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so they say. By the way, small friend, what exactly is a pictograph? Ah, well, that's all he's got to offer. See you later, small friend. Actually, you know what would be like a... You know what would probably be an alright voice for him? Um, oh, I am so... Okay, when these things bump into you, it looks like they just seem to, like take your health rather than like knock you out the boat in the gamecube game that like you would get knocked out the boat anytime these things bumped into you um but it, I, I don't seem to be getting knocked out the boat so maybe now they've changed that so you just like take damage and you don't like you know have to pay the price for it or anything um so that that's kind of nifty if true but anyway um but when they're making these games they had to because of um you know like processing power and limits of technology and all this other stuff um, they had to like space out the main islands very carefully. They had to kind of be like, okay, Outset Island is here, and like the um, Forest Haven is here, and Dragon Roost Island is here, and Windfall Island's here, and you know, they had to really kind of like, you know, plan them out because like you can't load in too many islands all at once, um, which is an interesting thing. Um, right, okay. Uh, we have. Oh, hang on, let me just get my leaf. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, very nifty. Aha. Aha. I think I always used to, like, set these things on fire. I can't remember. Ooh, hang on. Got to get the blue chew. And then, hang on, I'm going to just put my boomerang onto the Y button. There we go. Nice. Easy access to your items via the gamepad is a very, a very lovely thing. Oh, no, wait, wait, hang on, no, 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 I didn't mean to throw it, I wanted to just put it down, I just wanted to put it down, no, oh, what a waste. Okay, um, there we go, that's, f yeah, that's fair enough. All right, come on, please blow up, there we go, nice. Um, don't know if we'll find anything good here, but let's find out. Um, ooh, a fairy. Fairy! Um... Yeah, it's a little fairy. Whoa, it's turned into a big fairy. I really like this fairy design. Uh, I think it's a pretty good one. The Ocarina of Time ones are too creepy. Um, and the Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom ones um, probably kind of perfect what Ocarina was like trying to go for. And I, So they, they, the, 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 the Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom ones are like really nice. I saw, like Basically, it's like, oh, they're like sort of quite gorgeous women. But I like that this one has, like, an interesting um, aesthetic to it kind of thing. Like, it's not trying to be like, oh, look at this. This is gorgeous or sexy or beautiful. It's just, it's just like, a nice design. It's just like a, you know, it's like, oh, it's like a different kind of creature. Um, you know, different different species kind of thing. Like a fairy, different from a human. Uh, so I, I like that. Um, right, here we go. Okay, so we are being bestowed, bestowed. Wow, those graphics look very great there. I've just anyway, uh, we got. We can now carry more bombs. Well, that's pretty nifty. Look at that. We only just got them, and we can already carry more of them. That's pretty cool. Uh, right. Anyway, we have a bottle on the Y button, so let's just. Can we get a fairy? Uh, there we go. Nice. We got a fairy in a bottle. Uh, hopefully, we don't need more than one, because I am hoping that that. Uh, Firefly we caught will be useful later on. It might not be, but um, looks kind of like Fi or Fee, whatever she's called. Yes, it does. Um, from Skyward Sword. Yes, that's a good observation. Skyward Sword, also a game I'd love to stream someday. Um, okay, let's have a look at what we got here. Uh, Boomerang can go on. Why? Um, where did the King of Red Lions go? Oh, hang on. Can we get another? Ah, oh, we can't. I, I was really excited there. I was like, oh, can we get another blue chew? But no, no, we cannot. Um, 
Speaking of Blue Chew, that is not the sponsor of this video. Because uh, I, I don't know if you guys have seen there is a product called Blue Chew and they do sponsor on YouTube. Um, but uh, they are not the sponsor of this stream. Because you guys, you guys know what the sponsor of this stream is. Not Raid Shadow Legends. Because um, there is no sponsor at all. Um, so there we go. I had to sneak that in there somewhere. But I've been saying Blue Chew and I've been like, uh, that sounds like I'm doing the sponsor. It's like, I'm not, I'm not. Um, but um, the design was the reference of Fire and Scar so Oh, really? Like, factually? Oh, that's interesting. Um, I liked Fi. I mean, maybe if I, like, played the Wii version of Skyward Sword again, I'd be like, this is really annoying. And, like, this is way too tutorial heavy, but, you know, I like it. Hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, I saw the fish a second ago. But. Hang on. I saw the fish a second ago. No, 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 no. I thought I saw the fish. Ah, oh, sorry. Hang on. I did. I didn't get this island on my my map. I might have to change the direction of the wind. Yeah, this music has a mixture of like some of the like high rule, like oh no, Ganondorf has taken over, mixed with like the ocean sea stuff. Um. Yeah. Hang on. I might have to change the direction of the wind. Um. Let me. Hang on a sec. Let me just check the map. Um, okay, hang on, sorry, I do apologize. Oh, it's, uh, it's in the book, nice, nice, nice. Uh, that's awesome. That is very cool, oh, thank you for letting me know that, Capitral. Uh, that is very cool, thank you. Um, Sometimes you kind of hear, like, whispers of things online, and you're never sure what to make of them. But if it's actually in, like, the book, that's really awesome. Um, hang on a minute. Oh, there's the fish. 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 Um, fish. Um, hang on. Come here, fishy friend. Ah, there we go. Um... I thought I got this. Okay, I guess I just got the bombs and ran. Um, like those pirates. Maybe I'm more of a pirate than I thought. Um, oh, Southern Fairy Island. Ooh, interesting. I remember these islands because there's like Southern Fairy Island, Northern, West, and Eastern. But like, they're not sort of super spread out as like northernly and southernly and westernly and as easternly as you'd think for each one like some of them are like lined up pretty perfectly like this one is like really kind of like center south like it's in a great position but then one of them is like uh, you know like the rest i don't i don't think all the others are exactly like in the kind of squares you would think of if you thought of like west east north south you know um, so, on Outset Island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Oh, hang on, wait. I was gonna say, this guy kind of like, this fish kind of reminds me of like, John Mulaney or something like that, is what I was thinking. Uh, what was I thinking? Kind of like, hey, small fry. On Outset Island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging there. What? You haven't got anything to dig with. I'd say try using an animal or something. Work smarter, not harder, small fry. And that's all the info I got to up. If you want to hear it again, just throw me bait or whatever. whatever. Spider ham away. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so, right, anyway, we're going to go back. We'll go south. Do we want to go south? Do we want to go south? Southwest? How do we want to do this? Um, okay. Right, we'll go south. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, um, so I think I do kind of have like a slight idea of when we'll end today's stream. Um, but we'll, we'll keep going for a bit. Um, but I think I, ha I think I have an idea of when we'll end today's stream. But we'll, um, 
We'll see how long it takes, because it might end up taking a while. But if you are enjoying today's stream, um, please, 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 please hit that like button, that little thumbs up. Tap it if you haven't already. I don't know how many there are. I don't know how many there will be. But we need to feed the algorithm, because the algorithm, she's hungry. Um, for those likes and subscribes and all that stuff. Um, okay. Um, even though I've been more boring with my commentary today, because my mind has been frazzled on the fact that, this, that I thought the stream wasn't working right away. Um, and then, you know, like my mind's on Xenoblade as well and oh, other things. Um, but no, um, I suppose as well, actually, one thing I do need to um, kind of like not... Uh, what is the phrase I'm looking for here? One thing where I need to like take some pressure off myself is like I said, at the first couple of days of this week, like the thing I did Tuesday, um, it was like a very big thing. And uh, why can I not find the fish? Where is the fish? Where is the fish? Fish! Can you guys see the fish? Oh, there he is. There he is. Splishing around the Christmas tree. There we go. Come on. He's a splishy, splashy boy. Splashing around the Christmas tree. He's a splishy, splashy boy. Um, all right, come on, come on. And bait. There we go. Um, but so the thing I did on Tuesday was a big deal and a huge relief and other stuff. And obviously I've got so much hard work to do and so much more that I need to do to get my life in order and everything. But, um, but sort of getting, you know, kind of closing out a chapter on this thing was just really nice and I, I suppose I should really <laughs> take into account like what I like a oh that was but again I will talk about I actually have like a stream plan to talk about all this some of this stuff I've alluded to so that'll be fun but that will not be for a long time uh, but but it's happening okay um, so okay um, so anyway back to Mulaney fish Mulaney fry John Mulafriney I, I don't know um, to I reef. Okay. So, um, but I, I do apologize. I've not been very good at reading chat today. So, Ryan, hello. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I missed Ryan. Um, if I've missed anyone else, please say hi and hit that like button. Um, <laughs> so, okay. Um, okay, so. I tell you, lately no one around these waters has seen the beautiful fairy who bestows magic power. She used to live here, Fry. All anyone sees anymore are big octos that have been appearing lately. Maybe they scared her off. Oh no. I sure hope they didn't eat her. And that's all the info I got to offer. You want to see it again, feed me some food or whatever, and blah 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 bye. Um, okay, hold on a second. He talked about a fairy. Fairy! Um, he talked about a fairy. Um, oh, hang on. Seagulls. Wherever there are seagulls, one must assume that something is going on. Aha! Ugh. Okay, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, this has got a nice, uh... Oh, this has got... Oh, it's actually got a little, little, like, arrow now. Oh, cool. This didn't have, like, an arrow before, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's new. Boom, baby. Quick, someone tell Sarah. No, uh, no. I did that last week. I made a pot chip. Whoa, Satella! We got a super chat from Satella. 569 from Satella. Thank you so much, Satella. That's so kind of you. Um, and Satella puts fishy fish with a fish emoji. Lovely. Love it. Um, okay, so we've beat the octo thingy. Uh, octo pimp or whatever. I don't, what, the, the, octo, the octo squid. The squid of puss. I don't know. Um... Whoa, and look, it's a fairy! Fairy! Um, we saved the fairy! I knew I wanted to go south and then west. Uh, waker of the winds. Thank you so much again, Satella. Um, so, um, thanks to you, I've been freed from that beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. Just a little? No, give me all your power! You, you wouldn't have been free if it were not for me. Oh, early we were saying about, like, the cartoon style and stuff. I, f I didn't say this, but I, I said about that retrospective. Um, when I initially mentioned the retrospective, hey, we've got more magic power. Nice. Um, excellent. Um, but during that retrospective, it had a lot of really interesting, like, beta footage and pre-release screenshots and all that kind of stuff from, like, Ocarina of Time and, um, and Wind Waker and stuff. And they showed this little 
kind of like little clip that they originally used to kind of like show off the Wind Waker. And it was like, it looked similar enough, but the vibe was like way more cartoony and silly. Like it was like way like, it was kind of like over expressive all the time and stuff. And it was like way too silly. And so I'm glad that, I'm glad that this game is still serious whilst having the sort of the bright aesthetic to it. I like that. So, um, yeah, I think you can use your boomerang against the monster too, now that you mention it, Cappy Draw. I think you can, but just, it, the bombs are, like, easier, and we just got twice as many of them, and so, um, okay, so did we change the direction to, no, we did not change the direction, okay, here, so one, two, three, um, here we go, hang on, west. Right, let's proceed westwards. Because we've got to beat those pirates before daytime, even though it's been night timey and rainy forever. Actually, yeah, it's been, like, all the way to outset it was rainy. And then, like, it, even, it, sorry, even all the way to, sorry, to windfall it's rainy. But then even once we reached, um... Even once we reached Windfall Island, like, like, the the Fish Isle was rainy, and then Windfall was rainy, and then all the way to Outset has then been rainy. Um, okay, that's interesting. Um, right, we've got to keep an eye out for our fish friend. Fish! Okay, here he is. I wasn't going to hold that note forever, like I normally do here at Bovio Games, because we're feeding the fish. Um, okay, so, yeah, but good to know if you run out of bombs or if you suck with bombs that you do have the boomerang. But the thing I'll say is that, funnily enough, um, the mo the gyro motion aiming is, is very, is a nice thing for certain aspects of stuff, but, like, because it, like, faces the gamepad downwards and stuff like that, um, aiming, if you're trying to aim with the boomerang, like when you're super duper heavy in the midst of action, um, it's not really that great. <laughs> so, um, the bombs are actually sort of almost better in this game and the boomerang might be a bit worse, but if you're playing the GameCube version, that's good to know if you run out of bombs, uh, because the boomerang is like just way more controllable and whatever in that game. So, okay. Um, I also liked the visual aesthetic of the when the map pops up in the uh, GameCube game. Like this game, it sort of almost looks like the game is frozen. Um, but yeah. Hey, small fry. There's a real heavy stone. Stone head blocking the cave on that island. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? <laughs> Let me tell you a great secret. Go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain. That place you went to already? You'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. With that thing, you could lift that stone and toss it out of your way as if it were light as a feather. And that's all the info I got to offer, so give me some more food or blah de blah de blah blah blah. See you later, kid. Um, cool, thank you, my friend. Thank you, my keen young friend. So we do have a map of Outset Island. We don't need to feed a fish for Outset Island. So let's get our, what, boomerang onto the Y button? And then we'll uh, take it from there. So, um, okay. Let's head to Outset before the pirates get here. When I was a kid, I was like super worried. Um, so it's a potential like mini spoiler here. When I was a kid, I was like super worried that the pirates could like catch up to you. That like, oh my gosh, like the, the pirates, like I gotta get there before the pirates. I can't stop at any islands because the pirates. Um, but, um, but don't worry, the pirates cannot, oh, no, 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 I didn't say that. Um, the pirates, like, they can't catch you or anything. Like, it's, the way that it's been perpetual nighttime, it's that way for everyone forever. Um, like, anyone who plays this game, uh, you will, oh, the bombs are on the left D-pad? Oh, so I don't even need them as an, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Anyway, we are back. We are back. Have you noticed, Toon Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. This is what I was saying. The land that was so ravaged by monsters, it is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. 
In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again, after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Yeah, so get the King of Red Lions is like, hey, my dude, my bro, my guy. You have had a long journey. We are not at risk of uh, being caught up to. So go talk to Granny. Go talk to Grandma. Grandmama. And uh, and then we can uh, we can do Jaboon. We can Jaboon it up uh, later on. We can Jaboon it up. With Jaboon. Jaboon in with Jaboon. We can do that later. Okay, anyway, right, oh, let's get some slime. And then we'll boomerang this thing so he stands up. There we go. Nice. So we still can't really do quite everything we want to do here because it's like raining and stuff. And although Orca said, oh, bring a Knight's Crest and come back, we don't have any Knight's Crests. We can't get any of those yet. So let's go see Granny. Let's go see Granny. Um, and, uh,. We'll get back to whatever. Andrew, thank you so much. Take care, bye. You've probably already gone. Um, but I really appreciate it. Hope you're able to catch up on the rest of the VOD. Um, right. No. Uh, Toon Link. Arrow. Oh, the AC finally just kicked off. That's how hot it is. It's been on all that time. Um, don't go. Don't leave. Uh, don't leave your poor old grandma. All alone. Um, I feel like I actually do know what to do here, but I don't want to do it, like, prematurely in case it, like, doesn't work. Um, because, like, basically, it, like, you, 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 you give her a fairy. Um, oh, for the love of pizza, that old thing again. You give her a fairy, um, uh, and then that, like, heals her, but I don't want to, I don't want to, like, use my fairy if um i don't want to like use my fairy if uh if like it then just gets wasted <laughs> i don't want to like, get my fairy out the bottle if it's then wasted so hang on i'm just gonna oh hang on i'm gonna just talk to beetle as well beetle beetle come back here you um okay nice um do, do, do. oh okay nice and he's got bombs now, which means we have less bait available to it. No, I'm kidding. Right, let's get some more. Thank you! Um, thank you, Beetle Man. Did we use enough bait to warrant a second purchase? We do, we have 13 points. Whoa, that is incroyable, um, as they say in France. Um, bye! Okay, thanks. Sorry, the bye wasn't as good as my thank you! Um... Sorry about that. Okay. Um, bye! Was, it, was that a bit better? There we go. Um, hang on. So let's just talk with the, with the King of Red Lions. I just want to see if he's like, Ooh, your grandmother is ill. Blah, blah, blah. Um, are you ready? If that is the case, then... Okay. Uh, um, oh, I know what to do. Um, something that we haven't done here at Bovio Games today that we normally do a bajillion times, and that is save our game. Um, again, what clue do they give you about like grandma not feeling? I'm sure there's like probably some islander who's like, oh, if someone's not well, you uh, give them a, a fairy or whatever. But um, but hang on, what we're gonna do? We're gonna save our game, okay? There we go. Hang on, we're gonna save our game. Saving. Right, we're going to continue. And then what we're going to do... Hang on, we're going to get our fairy out. Right, please let this work. No! Oh, there we go, it worked! Again, I can't remember what clue they give you, but I just remember this is what you do. Oh, oh Toon Link, is that you? I didn't press a button. Why did that skip? Um... Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Toon Link, my dear sweet Toon Link. You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. 
You and your sister Arrow are trying hard to, so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Toon Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Oh, wow, she's really harsh on herself. Toon Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. No, just give me an empty... Give me... No, give me the soup and an empty bottle. Don't give me... Ah, whatever. Um, but then we've got elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all your life energy and magic power. Um, this is like a very uh, OP uh, thing to have, essentially. Um, and you can kind of just, I think, get it for free anytime you like. Just like get a bottle, fill it up. It, it's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, and w after having it, um, the first time your yeah your attack power doubles until you take damage. So that is one hearty soup. Um, oh, and there's like two helpings, which is pretty cool. Um, so you get it twice. So it's yeah, it's very OP, very OP. You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, run out. I can make it for you any time you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong, so you something the button skipped. But don't do anything reckless, all right? Why is that skipping along? Okay, um, I don't know why I didn't have any control of that then. Let's get the boomerang back. Um, Again, I can't remember. Um, oh, the fish. The, yeah, the fish says. Oh, yeah. Because because I think I didn't talk to the fish. I didn't talk to the fish because we already have a map of this island, uh, like on our you know on like our world map. Um, so uh, let me let me go back to that actually. Um, I think we may need to like set like a southward wind or something, but. We'll see. All right, set sail. Load the cannon. Um, okay. It's funny. I was thinking of like, so because I've been in America for five years, right? Um, you know, and it, there are a lot of things that like say, oh, I haven't done this thing like since I was in England. You know, like watch Family Guy. Like I haven't watched like I haven't sat down and watched like whole episodes of Family. I haven't really. I, I have actually. There, there are like a couple of like the older ones. That I, um, that I have, um, there are, like, a couple of the older ones that I have, um, like, watched. But, but again, but, like, I haven't watched any of the, like, new episodes that have come out in, like, the last five years, right? And I always used to, like, watch new Family Guy episodes when they come out. And I'm not sure if I'll ever bother to catch up at this point. Um, and, um, but it's just funny, because there are episodes I think of. There's an episode I was thinking of earlier. And I, and in my head... I think of it as like, I think of it as like a new episode. Like, oh, it was like a new episode or a newer episode. Um, oh, hang on. Um, hang on, we want to be careful here. Uh, boom. Nope, hang on, we want to... Right, one, two, three, four... Oh, hang on. Oh, I need to actually hit the top one first. I think that's what that's trying to communicate. There we go. Sorry. I was, like, hitting the bottom one. I was like, why is this not doing anything? It's like, no, it's trying to tell me hit the top one. Um, oh, that was good. Um, but I was kind of thinking, you know, so in my head, I'm thinking, like, I was thinking of this episode. I'm like, oh, it's like a new episode or whatever. But the reality is it's like, well, no, it's probably like a six or seven-year-old episode now. Thinking, you know, a bit like how I was thinking about, like, Xenoblade earlier. Um, there we go. Right, we're getting up close for this final shot, or this final couple of shots. So I think this should do it. There we go. Nice and easy. Um, so there we go. Um, right, we're going to cruise on in and see what's going on. This is sort of crazy how time is and stuff. And it's like an episode of Family Guy now. It's like five or six years old. That's not really like a new episode, really, is it? Um, so. It's Jaboon! He is Jaboon! Well met indeed, Jaboon. I'm pleased to see that you are safe. 
Actually, it's Sylvester Stallone. Hey, how you doing? Uh, good to see you, kid. Um, yes, it seems that Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. So like I said before, if you're playing the like repeat playthrough or the hero mode or whatever, um, you can understand everything Jaboon is saying here. So you can like see this full conversation. It's not just like a one-sided conversation with the King of Red Lion speaking English and then, you know, jibba, jibba jabba Jaboon, jibba Jaboon on the other side. Um, you can actually understand the whole thing, so you can see the stuff he's saying. So, like... <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not so. <laughs> the one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. That's a really funny thing about this game. So often, like, there have been a lot of, like, links in the past where, like, maybe they are, like connected to uh, a previous link or something like that but this one he's just a, he's just a random dude person guy like me and yet I send this great promise and the courage that this one possesses I do it is the only way <gasps> we got the other pearl without even having to do a dungeon, probably because this game's development was rushed. Yes. Um, we got Nehru's pearl, the water spirit, Jaboon, was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. So yeah, we had to do this random, like, kind of fetch quest kind of thing, where we go to, like, the first island, and then we go to the Windfall Island, and then we go to the outside island. So... Again, I do always wonder if there could have been, like, a dungeon here. If almost, like, perhaps, say, like, a dungeon was designed and planned to be here on Outset Island. Um, apparently, like, later on, there's going to be, like, two dungeons that were cut from the game or something that they didn't get to implement. But I always wonder if there was, like, a third one here that they didn't get to put in the game. So, there we go. So, we just got another pearl. Make sure to like and subscribe! Um... So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. You must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. You must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. That bit there, can I just say, that bit there, the thing he's saying, I believe I have to, is, like, really interesting if you read the full English version. I won't say anything now. I will later, but I won't now. Okay, thank you, Sylvester Stallone, Jaboon Fish. Um... So yeah, the GameCube version did have... So basically, with the GameCube version, you had to beat the game once, and then it would open up like a... You know, sort of like the way that nowadays you get like a new game plus, but it would open it on like a second save file. So it'd be like, oh, hey, on your second save file, here you go. Here's the... Here, you know, here you go. You wear the blue lobster shirt, and you understand the old language. Like, that's it. So Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jubun gave us. So morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Toon Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on Outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. Okay, uh, he makes a good, strong, and compelling case. Um, so let's... So he said we should wrap up any any business. Taking care of business. I mean, wheels are bus and wheels bus. Um, hang on a sec. We'll go around. 
We'll be going round the mountain, yes we will. We'll be going round the mountain, yes we will. Oh no, this is what happens when we hit four hours. Uh, we'll be going round the mountain. I have not sung this song in forever. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. Um, so it is now night time. Um, but that's saying maybe daytime will strike soon. Who knows? Um, but I just want to check one or two teeny tiny little things before we go. Um, might not. So also, I can hear like the fan on my Wii U. Um, I, I can always anyway, but it's just when things get like really quiet, um, I can like hear it especially. And um, it's just, it, it's sort of just so interesting like how loud it is. Like the switch is like relatively quiet, like the fan on the switch doesn't kick in like too much or too badly or it's not, or it will kind of kick in like a little bit for like a while, but then like it's fine afterwards. Um, and it's just like so interesting. Um, basically how they were essentially able to like get the Wii U built into a handheld that is like less noisy, less clunky, you know, cause the switch is basically just like a Wii U, but it's astonishing how that like after only like five years, they were able to take like a brick of a thing and um and then a brick of a thing and then turn it into uh turn it into like a handheld really it's pretty, it's pretty amazing like i don't know oh, we can't pick up the piggy i wanted to pick up the piggy okay well we can't do anything more there so let's look at our map uh well okay hang on let me okay so what we're going to do here is, I'm going to take a teeny bit of a detour, not too much of one, don't worry. Um, oh, the, yeah, we'll set the wind north. Um, I could set it northeast. Actually, actually, no, no, no. We need to go northeast. Our first island is northeast of here. Funnily enough, we've actually been to two of, two of the islands we're about to go to. We've, uh, of the three islands, so the three islands we need to go to, two of them, however, we've actually already been to because of our methodical and, uh, you know, like our very thorough work going through these islands and talking to our John Mulaney fish friend. Um, so yeah, right, let's, um, but now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go, yeah, I probably should have just set the winter north, shouldn't I? Uh, cause this is probably going to be a bit slow. Yeah, hang on a sec. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna set the wind north, um, just as a bit faster, and then we'll go east, and then we'll go northeast. So I do apologize. That I'm gonna change the wind a couple of times, um, but I just, I may as well tick off some extra areas on our map, you know. Um, so, um, wait, Cappy Draw, you thought that was a bug and deleted your file? No. Yeah, no, the, yeah, the blue shirt, that was intended. It was sort of like, yeah, it was like, oh, so you can play in, like, the blue shirt, and, uh, and then, yeah, and then, like, Velu and Jaboon, um, and the Deku Tree, um, all talk in, um, they all talk in, uh, just, just English all the time. They still have, like, the same, like, they still have, like, the same dialogue, like, the Deku Tree will still be like, oh, whoops, like, I slipped into an old tongue, even though you, like, understand everything. But, um, I don't think it's written any differently or anything like that, but, um, but yeah. Um, hang on, we need to, oh, hang on, I need to dodge this sh this shiny Sharpedo. I need to get my bait bag, I need to put that on the Y button. There we go. Um, okay, hang on, well, talk to our fishy friend. Here, fishy, 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 there we go. Um, nice. Um. I'm just yeah, I like the I like the Mulaney thing. It's different from that, but okay. So what island is? Yeah, the the GameCube version had a better visual for like trans trans sort of like going from the fish like jumping up to the map appearing on screen. It was a bit nicer. This this almost looks like your game freezes. Um, long ago there's uh, so yeah, long ago there's this huge fairy who lived to the south of here in the forest on outside island. But now all that's left is the ruins at the fairy fountain where she lived. Eh, it's sort of sad. But to tell you the truth, I hear there still is a fairy there. Yep, she is still alive and kicking down there, Fry. 
And that's all the info I got to offer. Give me some food or blah 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 blah, and uh, I'll see you later. Um, cool. Thank you, my small friend. Uh, right, let's change the wind to the east. Oh, they. Okay, that's interesting. Now, when you play the tune, when you used to play the tune, right, it, it, it'd go like, ding, 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 and then like he would kind of do like a bit of a extra motion, and you go like, oh, like, oh. So that was terrible singing. I did that way too high. Um, but um, but it but it would have like a sort of like an orchestral, like an sort of a orchestra, like a choir orchestra group singing chorus of like, oh kind of thing but now it doesn't do that it just it just has you play the tune once and then you don't have to like sit through and listen to the tune a, a second time so that's quite nifty to be honest that that's quite a cool that's quite a nice thing to just speed things up to be honest um okay uh let's go this way i know there's treasure here but let's just ignore this treasure Ooh, hang on, we're getting that ocean lag that I talked about last week as well. The Wii U version, like, the lag on the ocean, it lags up a lot more. Um, I did say, like, oh, if there are, like, hurricane, um, hurricanes, we can, you know, tackle them in the future or something. But, um, but we won't be doing that. Um, let me just go here. Oh, we should be looking out for a fish. So, remember I said that the, um... These guys go out to different islands. So this is one of the islands they went to. And this is one of their trees. And we need to feed this tree forest water, which I'm not going to be doing. I don't think I ever did this quest when I was a kid. I don't think in any of my save files. I have, like, done all kinds of save files. I've done, like, um, I have done, like, you know, getting all the heart containers save files. I've, I've done every kind of save file there is. But uh, I haven't done one where, um, I haven't done one where uh, I have, 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 have healed all the the Koroks, I don't think. So, um, okay. Right, I don't think we need to go to Beedle because we have all our, all of our, um, we have all of our, like, bait filled up. And there, there is one Beedle that's a little bit different than the others, which I would like to go to at some point. But, um... But we'll we'll get there when we get there. Um, okay, so let me look at this map. Oh, uh oh. It's it's tornadoes, foolish creature who foolish creature who does not fear the gods. To the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. No 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 no. Oh crud. Well, this ain't good, is it? No! No! Where are we going? Where is this sp Our Windfall Island? Oh, the pirates aren't here. Toon Link, are you alright? It would seem that the Wind God Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, it would be wise to try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see upon the seas. Ah, <sighs> but if only we could find a way to harness the power of those cyclones. Then it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. But you do not have an item that can pierce distant targets. If you did, that might be able to obtain such a power. Keep that in mind. Yes, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so hang on a sec. We're... Well, it is now daytime, so that's kind of cool. Um, I just want to check one thing. I just want to check one thing on this island. We may as well check one thing on this island. Well, mm, maybe two things we could check on this island, actually. Um, actually, there might be a couple of things we could check on this island. Um, it's the this dude. But his stall isn't doing as well. So I'm, I'm just going to skip through this because I don't want to take too much time on this island. But, um, but like, because um, I, I do just want to... Uh, go to these three islands that we have planned. I didn't mean to do this. Um, but anyway, he's like, oh, I, I'm running out of money and I need people to buy stuff. What? The? Well, then come on. Like, let me buy stuff. Yes, yes, I want to. Yes, 
I just I want to buy stuff from you. Let me buy stuff. Okay, cool. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay, yes. Okay, yes. Cool, 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 cool. Yes. So basically, we have to, like, buy things and trade things and whatever. And if, if I've got that wrong, I'll look it up before next week's episode. Um, so. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, we got, the ten we got the town flower. Nice. Um, so take this to a traveling merchant and trade it for something. Okay, cool. Um... So yeah, so like we're basically gonna find like other merchants and we have to trade stuff with them and uh, it's all fine and dandy and good and lovely and joyous and all this other stuff. Uh, this will do another time. There's just, there's literally like, there's literally just like one thing I wanna do. One thing, one thing I wanted to do. Um, but I can't find it. Why can I not find it? Um, I need to find Elvis. Where was Elvis? Elvis, where were you? And if anyone didn't watch last week's episode, they're going to think I'm crazy talking about Elvis. But, um, hang on. Elvis is this way, right? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, hang on. Aha. Okay, so don't worry. I'm, I can't do anything here. Um, but he's like, ah, oh, hey, baby. Yeah, this is cool, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, left down woo um okay yeah yeah woo um okay so hang on so right left down um i don't think we're in kansas anymore toto exactly um Oh yeah, sorry. The thing I, the thing that uh, Cappy Draw points out that I, I kind of actually realized I never actually got around to saying, uh, or I don't think I really emphasized it. If I did, kind of say it, but I said about oh, like so the, the Koroks they go to these different islands and you have to take forest water to the different islands, but the forest water has like a, a timer on it before it like goes bad and just turns into uh, regular water. Um, so. Um, so yeah, you, you, so it, it's sort of a bit of a thing where you have to, it, you, it's kind of tedious because you like have to go to, um, you have to go to the forest haven and then um, you have to go to the forest haven and then, um, and then only once you do, um, you know, and then you collect water and then you have to go to these islands. It's just a bit like, eh, whatever. Um, hang on, so let's, so it's. Uh, there we go. Um, <laughs> I love that the uh, Marsis. Hello, um, lovely to see you. Um, right, was this where I wanted to go? I think this is where I wanted to go. Um, okay, please let this be where I wanted to go. Hang on. Well, good, good evening. Um, Describe, hang on, auction, yes. Do you have the courage and the fundage? Yes. Um, yes, I want to participate in the auction. Um, I, I guess it's fine. Like, okay. Um, hopefully I don't need this explained to me. <laughs> I probably should have checked the rules because it's been a long time since I did this. So, um, what a turn off. The auction is about to begin. Again, I'm just going to speed through this just because um, tonight's auction is... Oh, it's a treasure chart. Okay, but I want the sale. Can't you get the sale here? Oh, well, never mind. Uh, anyway, Bark. Um, let me know if you can get the super sale here and, like, how it kind of works or whatever. Okay, and... Begin. Oh. Gummy for eight rupees. So we're gonna tap a tap a tap a tap a. Eleven rupees. Missy with eleven rupees. Missy was the name of my childhood dog growing up. Gerickson, fifteen. Um. Do we, let's go twenty-six. 
Yo, this kid me. Oh, this kid means business. Oh, the the the, the Delfino people. Oh, the kid means business. Gummy says twenty nine. Right. So I think this like little bar does kind of go up a bit. It does like slowly go up. Um. So I I'm not gonna like rush to bid right away because I want to see lovely Linda. Um, going up to forty, and then this lady, Mininko. Still going up. 47. Hang on. 50. Okay, let's go... I don't know, 64. Nintendo 64. Um. Okay, I've stunned them. Time is running out. Right, hang on. So we want to get... Uh, we want to get our bar pretty filled, just in case someone comes back and puts in, like, a late bid. Oh, crud. Hang on. Oh, no. I've probably done it too much. I've probably done it too much. I've probably done it too much. Oh, no. That's fine. 70 rupees. 74 rupees. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll go 91. <laughs> He's just an innocent little boy! Right, hang on, we're gonna get the bar up again. Because again, if they snap back in, only five seconds remain. Is this the end? Three, two, sold! Okay, nice. Um... Oh, did someone ask about anyway bark? Hang on. Um, Cassie Baby, hello! Um, you got a movie theater, nice. Um, thank you so much. Uh, hang on, let's see. Um, oh, quick question, Neon, okay, yeah. Why do you always say Anyway Bark? Uh, yeah, Anyway Bark is a, it's a reference to the Overcooked playthrough that I did with Sarah, Christy, and Erica. If you don't know what I mean, and you want something fun to watch or whatever, um, go watch those streams. Sarah still has them up. Sarah Miller Cruz on YouTube. Um, go look up those streams. They were really fun. They're from like about a year and a half ago-ish at this point. Um, uh, congratulations! Okay, so I got a treasure chart. I was hoping for the sale. Uh, the speedy sale. If anyone knows how to get the speedy sale, or if, I'm, if, if it only becomes available at a certain point in time, let me know. But, um, but yeah. Anyway, Bark. Um... And it was, yeah, also King Bo uh, was there as well. Yeah, very fun, very funny series, very fun series. I loved streaming with them so much. Again, I, like, it'd be easier for me to uh, stream with them if my eyesight were better and stuff and we could do like a group collaborative thing. But then again, maybe maybe it'd be hard to do a group collaborative thing because, I mean, even like Sarah's at a convention this weekend, but like Erica's stuck at an airport and, um, <laughs> and, uh, and Erica's Erica stuck in airports, and Sarah's at a convention, and all sorts. But uh, okay, one letter for Toon Link. Um, at least I think Sarah's at a convention, right? She's Rhode Island as well. Um, do you have enough of Granny Soup? Where are you now? You may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? Are you keeping yourself warm? Do you always work so hard? Do you have enough rupees? Grandma is sending you everything she's saved up. As long as I have you and Arrow, I don't need anything else. I'm reading this quickly because I can't be bothered. But oh, she only has twenty rupees. That's like your savings. Oh, Granny. Oh, Granny. Um, okay, we're going to go to... Right, hang on. We're going to set the wind south. Oh, hang on. We're going to set the wind south. Um, there we go. Um, and then we will... After first dungeon, it can show up randomly. Mm, okay. Well, okay, every time we'll, we'll, we'll kind of make an effort to, like, come back here periodically or whatever. And every time we come back here, we, we, we'll hope we'll get it. It doesn't matter too much. We don't need it right now. We might need it. it. It'll be more beneficial to us, like, at some point during next week's stream. But this week, we're good. This week, we're good. But th thank you for that, Xander. I appreciate it. Because, again, I do not know the Wii U version. So, um, I know there was treasure there, but eh, we're just going to leave it. Um... Right, we've got to keep an eye out for this next island. I think this is it here, this little triangle. Um, 
But yeah, we are getting close towards the end of today's stream because we've been going for four hours now. I, I do apologize if I've been a bit different today. I don't really know why I've been different, but uh, there you go. Um, but there you go. Anyway, Bark. Um, just stay away from those from those hurricanes, eh? Uh, right, okay. Um, okay, hang on. So we're going to go this way. Here we go. So we got to go to these three little islands, okay? And it's like, what do you do on the three little islands? Is there a dungeon on each one? No. Um, they just light up like this. And it's like, whoa! And Toon Link's like, it's like, Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold here. So there we go. We're going to put the red one in first. This was uh, Din's pearl, I believe. Uh, like Din Ral in Breath of the Wild. Tears the kingdom. Uh, we place Din's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Woo! Two pearls remain. Um, where did the King of Red Lions go? Okay. Um, so we got the wind fate southwards. Uh, our next one is two spaces, two squares down from here. If you picture a big map with seven squares by seven squares or whatever it is, uh, we're now going to go two down. Uh, we're going to go two down. The grandmother does not know that Toon Link bets. No, wow. Well, well, auctioneers um, or whatever. Um, Charlie, hello. Welcome back. Um, you are here to watch the end of the stream which we're getting towards um but okay we uh, yeah we didn't get the speedy sale but hopefully as we buy up stuff um hopefully as we buy up things um we can um you know hopefully as we buy up things we can uh you know kind of get closer to getting that magic sale and and sail the ocean seas faster than i ever did on the gamecube in my youth um okay um, so let's keep going. A speedy sail would have been nice for this last segment of the stream, though. I won't lie. Um, now, was this where we found the bottle? <laughs> was this where we found the bottle? Or is this a different ship? I'm just going to check this submarine quickly. I suspect this is where we got the bottle. Um, but let's just check very quickly. Uh, if this is where we've been before. Uh, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so let's... Oh, no, wait, yes. This is where we've been before. Because uh, that treasure chest looks open to me. Um, although I'm surprised the ladder doesn't stay there, but oh well. Okay, right, here we go. South we go. South, 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 south. Um... Okay, and it's daytime again. Wow. So yeah, now we're back on the old day-night cycle, so we can have nighttime events, daytime events, all that lovely stuff. Um, but let's 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 go to our next island, which has all these uh, dudes here, and then we'll um, all these flying things, which I hate. I hate these flying things. Um, yeah, when you're on the GameCube version, at, at least. I, I don't know about this version yet. I don't know if we've just been lucky or whether... Um, no, yeah. In the GameCube version, you get knocked out of your boat whenever you get hit. And it's just... Ugh, it's just the worst. It's just the worst. Um, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I really should have, like, the boomerang equipped or something, but oh well. Um, right, hang on. Uh, who do you want? Is this going to be Fraw or... Nehru. Okay, so this is going to be the Nehru's pearl that we just got from Jaboon. Uh, similar to Nadra from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but there we go. Nehru's pearl is in the ancient statue's hands. One pearl remains. Um, okay, so hang on. We're going to just change the wind quickly to... Yeah, we'll go northeast because that's easier. Um, okay. So we actually haven't been... The island that is... Again, you can't see this on the map. But um, the island... Ooh, ow. The island that is uh, northeast of here. Um, we actually haven't been to it. So we will be using our bait, which is really nice. 
Um, so that's cool. That's something. Um, but we just need to actually keep an eye out for an island. I think it's... Why do I have the awful... No, it's not going to be that one. I'm a bit nervous if it's one of those islands where it's a bit off to the side or something. I think that's one of the ones we've already got, and I think that's one of the ones we've already got, but, um, but, oh well. Um, wow, four hours, that's a long stream. We're glad you could at least pop in and say hi. Your husband's listening as well. Oh, well, thank you. Um, also, and he also says hi. I'll have to watch the recording later to see what you missed. Yes, thank you. Um, this has been a fun one. Again, forgive me if I've been a bit off or anything. Um, but hopefully it's still be entertaining. We got a dungeon done. We actually, like, begun with a dungeon today. And then we did all the stuff that probably should have been a dungeon that they would have made a dungeon if uh, the development on this game hadn't been as rushed or whatever. I highly suspect that. I don't I don't know if that's a fact. I Like, you always hear the thing where they say, like, oh, Nintendo, like, cut two dungeons from the game um, when you get, like, later in the game. Um... Okay, hang on, where? Is that Beetle? Oh, hang on, I just realized why. Okay, I think I've just realized why there's like not, I'm like right in the middle of this island and there's like not an actual island here. But I think I've just realized why. <laughs> sort of mild spoiler. Um, mild spoiler, but, um, but let's set sail. Let's go to the final a uh, little island. I can't see a fish anywhere. And I don't think the fish will appear until, um... I think the fish will appear later. So let's just go get our third pearl, which we... This was the one island that we haven't been to. Um, this little island, this little tri tri triangle island. Uh, we haven't been to this triangle island, so... <clears throat> We need to get this one on our map. We need to feed some bait here um, whilst, whilst watching out for these uh, hurricanes. Um, but then... So basically, we're going to do these three uh, pearls. We're going to drop off these three pearls. There's going to be like a little bit of a cutscene. And then once we... Oh, hang on. There's a big old... Can you see the, the big old beam of light? Um, let's see if we can get this big old beam of light. Hang on. I think it was around here. I th yeah, there we go. This is a big treasure. This is one of our big treasures from a from our special map, like the one we just got at the auction. Ooh, a silver rupee. Good thing we actually have space in our wallet to, um, you know, <laughs> accommodate for that. Uh, right, let's get our fish friend. Hello, fish friend. Okay. So, hoist small fry and open up the seed chart. Man, that really does look like the game is frozen. Um, but anyway, this is Eastern Triangle Island. Um, so, tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think that you've finally met your match, if you've got a fairy with you, then you got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, Fry? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. And that's all the info I got to offer. Blah, 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 blah. Offer me some bait and see you later. Bye. Um, cool. Thank you, my friend. Um, is that a beetle ship? It is a beetle ship. Yeah, beetle's kind of at, like, any kind of, like, remotely important island, including, like, these little triangle ones. Um, so he does show up everywhere. But there's one special beetle that I want to make sure we definitely go to later on. It's a little bit different from the others. Um, okay. Uh, right, here we go. And this is Feroz Pearl. Um, not dissimilar to Feroche from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Um... Although Furor is more associated with wind and Feroche is more associated with electricity or thunder. Um, so there we go. So right, we got this cut. So now we got a cutscene. Um, whoa, my gamepad is vibrating. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it in the microphone. Link, watch out, little Link. 
Toon Link. I need to call him Toon Link. Oh. Okay, well, nothing happened. Sorry. Um, maybe I misremembered what happens here or something. Um, but yeah, everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh! <gasps> they're little people. The the statues. They're people. They're little people. And they're firing beams at one another. What? What? Watch out, Nehru. Faraw just hit you. Watch out, N Din. Nehru's hitting you. Watch out, uh, Faraw. Din's hitting you. Oh, well, it's a triangle. It's a triangle. It's a Triforce. It's a Triforce. Who knew? Who knew that these three things in a triangular shape would come together to form a triangle? What? What? Kaboom! Zander says, yes, exactly. Um, the stream is... Hi, Caitlin. Uh, the stream is almost over. Like, basically, I wanted to unlock this dungeon. And then that's where we're going to leave it. Wow, Link. Ugh. <laughs> um, whoa, this tower looks so good on this game. In this remake. Whoa. King Red Lions just move in like a whole square over on the map without a sail. Um, okay, well. Here we go, though. A mysterious tower has emerged from the sea. This was, when, I, when a minute ago I was like, why isn't there a fish here? Um, it's, it's because this tower wasn't here yet. Um, so... The tower which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the, tri the trials, I thought I said trials for some reason, even though I was like, surely trials would make more sense, um, that would await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that, will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Toon Link. That which you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. Okay, so we're going to just find our little fishy friend first. Um, hang on. John Mulaney fish. John Mulaney fish. Where are you? Where is he? Hang on, we're gonna just go around this island a little bit. I probably should have headed the other way, but let's just see if we can find him. I don't think he's in this tower. I think like he's somewhere on the outside of it. Oh, cat's going nuts outside. Don't worry, cat. Like I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hang on. Come on. Let me get the fish. Let me get the fish. Okay, I'm just cruising. Hang on. Hang on, we're going to do the old get the sail out and then pop it out. Okay, come on, come on. Let me get to the fish before the hurricane gets us. Let me get to the fish. Let me get to the fish. Okay, there we go. Nice. Um, yeah, we had a, we've had we met a lot of fish friends this episode. <laughs> I, I sort of said to my friend William before I did this, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll get like all the... I don't know if I will, like, go to every island. But I suppose we can do, like, every fish, you know. Like, we don't have to, like, do every island. But we can do every fish. Um, but, yeah, that's why he wasn't here before. Because the Tower of the Gods wasn't here before. So, uh, Tower of Gods. Um, I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry. And from what I can tell, it looks like you're fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control that fate are none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Forks. Yeah, there's some sort of magical utensils. If you want to learn more about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy Tingle. You know, the weirdo. That's what the fish fortune told me. Now that I, I know I may only be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You'd better believe it, small fry. And that's all the info I got to offer. So give me some bait and some food and blah 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 blah. See you later and take care. Okay, thank you. Um, so, I'm going to put our boomerang onto the Y button. Uh, we're going to set sail and move oh, hang on Ugh, come on hang on <laughs> we'll go this way for a sec hang on we'll go around you spin me right round wheels on bus okay there we go um so let's hang on let's go we'll go in this dungeon we'll watch any cutscenes that may 
uh, happen once we are like in this place and then we'll call that it for today's stream okay uh, this is where I was hoping we'd reach so I'm very happy about that uh, I don't quite know where we'll end up going next time but this is the tower of the gods um, a very fun dungeon this is our third dungeon uh, I mean it should be the fourth but it's it's the third um, and um, and yeah so we will stop here we'll save here um, We'll save the game here 50 bajillion times because that's what we do here at Bovio Games. Um, so I'm going to save here once more. Save the game. Saving, saving, saving. To the title screen. And there we go. Um, thank you all so, so much for joining me here today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. I've had a lot of fun. Again, forgive me if I was a bit not myself. I don't really know what was up with that. Um, I think I'm just getting used to playing a new type of game where I have to juggle like gameplay and chat and all this other stuff and the, the gamepad controls and everything. Um, so, um, so I hope that, um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed today. Uh, this is a really cool one. Oh look, he's in the lobster shirt, lobster shirt link. Um, so, um, but no, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is really cool. Um, next week we'll do this dungeon. And then there's a couple of things we'll do, and I, th I think so. I think we'll maybe get like sort of two or two and a bit dungeons done. Like, you know, it sort of depends on how you define a dungeon. But um, but there's kind of a thing which is a bit like a dungeon, but it's not a dungeon. Um, so hopefully next time we'll get like two and a bit dungeons done, and then we'll um, kind of carry on from there. But um, so that's what will that be? Hang on, today's the 29th, I want to say. So is that the 5th of August? Saturday, 5th of August. Um, Saturday, 5th of August, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Um, tomorrow is a Pokemon Go Community Day. Sunday, the 30th of whatever. So, um, yeah. Um, so this was a really, really fun one. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope we'll keep going next time and do more, like, get up to more shenanigans and everything. Um, but it's so cool to be playing this game and seeing all the differences on the Wii U. And I really appreciate you guys joining me to do that. So have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Um, I'm going to enjoy more Xenoblade Chronicles 2 later. Um, I'll probably waffle on about it sort of very erratically again next week as well, I'm sure. Um, but I hope you enjoyed my incoherent ramblings about it today. Take care. Lots of love. See you guys around. And bye-bye.